What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Nerd Theory. Hope you're all having a great day today. What's up, Josh? What's going on? Oh, you know, just chilling, chilling out here. Nerd Vengeance in these streets. Yep. I'm and, loving the uh, shirt. Loving oh, the thanks. Shirt. Yeah. No, that's one yeah. of my all time great comics for sure. Uh, we were talking a little before we went live about Jedi Survivor. 11 hour stream yesterday for you. Yeah, that was fun. That's wild, bro. Were yeah. you like, did you get like when the final boss? Because I don't know much about the game, but like when you got to that final boss, were you like dragging? Did you get like an adrenaline pump for, from it? Or it was probably like two hours straight mm. of just losing to this bastard. Mm. It was dude. horrible. It was freaking <laughs> horrible, dude. I hated yeah. it. I was losing <laughs> my mind. Yeah, dude, for sure. That's one of the reasons I have to, I have trouble streaming games like that, dude. Because, like, I'm not, like, naturally good at those type of games, especially the platforming. The platforming drives me bananas. There's probably some people in chat that watch me stream a little bit, and they're like, yeah, he's right. He's pretty bad at it. Um, but, yeah, it gets so frustrating when you're losing and you're also, like, live, and you, you know you can't, like, lose it, lose it, you know, when you're like. Oh, no, I, I, no, I lose it. Okay. <laughs> I lose it. I, yeah, I don't, no, I, yeah, I lose yeah. it. There's some moments where yeah. I just absolutely lose it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Dude, Elden Ring was like that for me. Yep loved elden ring but i remember a lot like elisa would come out and be like so you're just i want to be sure you're having a good time right now and i was like yeah it's a blast you know yeah but i'm literally like ah! <laughs> like yeah know? they don't get it yeah they don't, they don't yeah. get it but you know it, if you're not raging as a streamer i don't i think you're just not really i don't know i just don't think you're a real gamer i think you're just yeah true you know like or you got to be some sort of like a sociopath or something yeah that's fair that's fair so about the game uh what do you think? Like, what do you, how do you, how do you like the game? Yeah, I'm still working on my review in my head. Um, I like the game overall. I'd give it an eight to nine out of 10. Um, spoilers for some people here. I didn't, there were some aspects I didn't like, like the whole High Republic chapter. I won't get into details for people who haven't played. I felt like that was sort of, it was interesting, but at the same time, I'm like, well, it's a big jump from, the first game, which was all about, yeah. you know, Cal's transition from Order 66 and the Empire. And it felt like very familiar to everything that we know. This one, in a sense, you know, half of it was really refreshing because it's like a totally sort of solo story where they integrate the Empire like a little bit, not much. Yeah. And then the other half is just like, I'm, I'm like, well, all this stuff could have kind of been done with the Empire, but I guess they want to, you know, you know shuffle their sh shuttle their own high republic new stuff in there mm. which i guess you know whatever but at the same time i just found it to be um a little distracting sometimes because that chapter is so it's important and then it just like kind of goes interesting okay so are the zepho in this game at all no. is there any more no. wow no. i know that's what I, yeah so i was saying i think so, the zepho would have been really cool that's pretty interesting um yeah. Yeah, I, I still got to play through it myself, and I want to see, you know, how it goes down. I know a lot of people are having fun with it. It definitely has crazy performance issues, which, you know, I, I think is, like, it's it sucks. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, I think it's a really fun game, and I think a lot of people are enjoying it, but... I didn't get any. No, I know. But you're also on a 4090, right? Yeah, I think it's because I've, I've, all, I have the specs that I have, so I, I don't... Mm. I think it's more of a, um, yeah, like a spec issue like this yeah game for sure so demanding yeah it really was but it's also like bloated too from what i've heard like the um the way it's optimized as far as the visual fidelity is like that's why it's so big is because it just has so many different like layers to yeah, try so to figure out how to optimize yeah. yeah so i don't know um i i definitely want to play through it and i'm excited i'll say just from where i'm at in the game and i'm very early though i mean cal is like really strong like he's yeah really strong with the yeah. force so i'm curious how they're gonna take him because i assume there'll be another game maybe even several oh 100 percent, dude the way this yeah. one ended there's gonna be definitely one more it makes just, sense stories just begun makes sense yeah so i do wonder like if he has a trajectory to land in live action because i mean he's like he's strong bro he's very strong like where would you rank him like as Top far 20. as other yeah i don't know I, feel, 15. I mean i feel like to me so let me uh, ahsoka right she and i think this was so cool that dave did this in tales but she basically just made super quick work of that inquisitor right like it was mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. and similar in rebels she takes two of them on like no problem right yeah. 
So where would you rank Cal and Ahsoka? You know what I mean? Like they're, they're not close. Not close. They're not, they're not even. No, they're not even on the same playing field. No. Mm. So. Like yeah. Cal, Str- I would I would put Cal stronger than Ezra. Mm, that's interesting. I'd put, yeah. I'd put Cal stronger than Kanan. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but Ahsoka, <laughs> no. I mean, we also have to take in consideration that Cal was trained by his master only until he was like what thirteen. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So he's doing pretty good. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. He has unique force abilities too, a little bit different uh, with like the the shadows and the memories and. Do they have that in this game too, where he like sees the memories? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just yeah. haven't seen any. There's of some yet. cool. There's some cool scenes with the High Republic that mm. they go into. Um, I really like the premise. Uh, do you want me to give spoilers or? I mean, I really don't care that much. I just I wonder how Chat feels about it. You know, there's still Chat. You okay with spoilers? Going through it. Hey, is your before the answer is the uh, is your chat populating on the right there? Because mine's not. It's just blank. I can't pull up anyone's. I see. Yeah, I see chat. Okay, let me just refresh the thing. Okay, I'll hop back in. Uh Hello, chat. Hello there. How are you, chat? Oh, he clicked something. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're good. Nice. Donald from Diamond Figs. What's going on? You reposted a Twitter reel from my IG wild my page hit your algorithm you both have gotten me through some rough times over the years wouldn't be around if not for you both so thank you for what you do y'all rule never stop be well thanks diamond yeah i saw that man yeah that was a good post from sam Witwer. oh where he was talking about luke yeah he was talking about the last jedi Mm -hmm. yeah 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 that was good um you can go check out my story and then it'll link back to diamond figs everyone so yeah is chat saying no no spoilers Okay, I won't spoil it. I'll I'll do spoilers in my spoiler review of it, which will probably be out tomorrow. I'll probably record that tonight. Hmm. Um, now it froze for me. Let me see. Really? Yeah, I can't see chat anymore. Maybe I. Have we to also have to talk here. about Mandalorian and everything that you thought. Oh yeah, we haven't talked since the finale. We talked a little bit. No, we didn't talk about the finale because I wasn't what? here last week. Yeah. Okay, give me one second. Let me try to refresh this thing. What's going on, boys? Yo, spam one if you were here last night during the stream. You know, there were some people here last night for the whole 11 hours. That's nuts, dude. The whole thing. They were but, riding the whole way. You know, I think about that sometimes. I'm like, that's wild. But at the same time, like with a cell phone these days, like, dude, you take the stream with you. You could do a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, you know, a lot of people had it on the background. They're like, dude, I got like a project I got to finish by 9 a.m. for work. Like. You're yep. keeping me up. I'm like, oh, yep. I be I do that with Doc a lot too. I'll just yeah. put him on. So yeah, it makes Dude, sense. Dude, what was with his tweet? Oh, he's just clowning, bro. Like, he's just clowning. Like, he just oh, always does that serious. kind of stuff. No, because he complains about video games constantly. <laughs> it's like I know. I was his, like his whole shtick. I know. I was like, I was like bro, was what? Deal? Yeah, I was like, what? But I no, I think it's just one of those ironic humor kind of things because he's just, you know. He's all he always be going in on. Did he stream today? He did. He did. Yeah. He started out with a couple of different games. I saw him rage quit uh, Warzone again and then play some other games. And then he finished off with Jedi Survivor. So, okay. So he's still playing Survivor. Yeah. He's liking the game, man. Cool. He's liking it. Yeah. I'm glad I finished it. Um, Chad, if you guys want highlights of uh, the clips, like, you know, five to 10 minutes, uh, go on my Star Wars Theory Plus channel. You can check it out. Um, Yeah. So, so or do you spoiler wanna... well spoiler review of uh well, i guess i can't really talk about it spoiler review of Honor. of survivor survivor yeah. yeah okay well mando then well i mean i think we talked a little bit after mando maybe just on our streams, we did i think i think I, I i feel like we did but yeah i mean it's it was okay you know what i mean like the ending was okay um i it was feel lame, like it's dude. I mean, look, it's it, a very lame ending. It was the worst out of all of them for sure. Yeah. Um, it's really just a reset, right? Like it just it just resets the show. Uh, and there's I mean, there's so many goofy, like ridiculous, like what is this writing kind of stuff that happens in the episode. Yeah. Um, and they changed a lot of stuff for it too. Apparently that was supposed to be just one big episode, 
and there might have been an additional episode. I'm not sure, but they ended up just cutting that up. And the, the back half of it is just like whack, like just yeah. things like happen. And then all of a sudden, like Mando's Looney to ending with fucking Grogu on the farm. Like, bro, yeah, like yeah, what? Yeah. Like, that's all folks. Like, well, yeah. And, and, and Gideon clothing himself and then they have the force. It's like, well, why didn't Palpatine do this? Dude, is it yeah. because he didn't have Dr. Pershing? Like, you're telling me the Kaminoans couldn't do what Dr. Pershing can do? No. Yeah. No, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, it's pretty rack. And, and then, like... <laughs> he was he, so rattled, so, too. Yeah. My he clothes! Was, he was so over the top, you know, but obviously he could have stopped them. He sees them, like, is yeah. the radar open? Yeah. What yeah, it was hell? pretty goofy, man. It was, uh... It I was think, pretty goofy. I think he was doing that on purpose, man. I think, you know... Or do you think they'd even go that far? you think he's actually dead? Or that he just did that on purpose so everyone thinks he's dead and his clones are dead. Look, I don't, I have, a, it's tough for me, dude. Cause like on the one hand, I've been reporting a lot about, you know, all this stuff behind the scenes. And I believe those reports, but it's also possible that they have figured it out. And John is a consummate professional. So even if there's beef and a lot of stuff going on, it seems like he would be the kind of guy to just like try to figure it out, shoulder it and do what he has to do. Yeah. It's possible this season is a filler season because they're basically just resetting for setting up that movie. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, I don't know, man, my gut and just from what I've heard is that I think he just there, he didn't bring the same touch to this no. season. And that's just, that's just facts and i and maybe he still cares but just needed to get to this point um i don't know bro it's it's wild and i i know there's there's no pedro scene in the entire show right um and apparently they were gonna maybe do one but they didn't and there's a fourth season written but pedro pascal just signed up to do gladiator He's going to be in the new I gladiator. Know, yes, so ain't no fucking way he's going to do anything significant on season four. So I don't know. I, I mean, Ahsoka looks dope. Maybe Mando four will be dope as well and take us right into the movie and maybe it'll get back to the magic. But there's also a side of me, bro, that I'm like, bro, how many times are we going to say that <laughs> you know what i mean because like yeah, it was supposed to be boba it was supposed to be boba we were you know and then it was like kenobi they can't they can't miss that up you know? know and then andor i remember being so hype on andor before it came out and then mando 3 i just remember being like bro it's no way they could screw it up like mando like what happens if they do and then they fucking do it it's like they just do it over and over again and uh i don't know i want at some point i'm looking for an off ramp you know what i mean like i'm just like bro you need to you need to nail ahsoka you need to figure this movie out and uh, you need to start catching some W's because holy shit, dude, it's wild. Yeah, I don't get it myself. Um, I feel like their games and their books are a lot better than their shows and movies. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that. I think, you know, it's probably the case that a lot of like the games and books are it's just different creative teams. You know what I mean? Like it's their own team doing their own thing. Or if it's an author, it's just one creative mind. You know what I mean? Telling a story with vision. And uh, so I think the same thing with the video game, right? Yeah. When it comes to the movies and stuff, like Kathy's going to get in there and tinker, dude. Like that's her wheelhouse. She's going to get in there and, you know, like, dude, like, you know, we're, we're about to talk about this whole like Lindelof writing thing. Right. And like you, you sit back and think about, what's actually going on behind the scenes yeah and it's just like baffling to me like kathy's approach to all of this i do not understand dude like hey you came out with it yeah well she essentially so she accepts this pitch from lindelof hires him builds a writer's room around him and then he goes and away and writes for like a year basically i don't know maybe it was like six months he turns in a script in mid-February. Four days later, he's fired, which he recently came out and confirmed that he was asked to leave. He wanted to do the thing. He would have reworked the script. He's fired. Steve Knight is hired. And they're they're literally changing the movie to put Ray in it. So um, maybe you guys have seen the report chat, but essentially yeah. Lindelof's original script 
was going to be set 60 years after the rise of Skywalker. You're going to have an 80 year old Ray. Yeah. Who I think was going to be played by Helen Mir. Is that her name? Let me see here. Uh, yeah, let's see here. I forget this lady's name, but a much older about, Ray. Choked about it. Who, when Lindelof? Got... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he... was he... like, I was brought into the world of Star Wars and then asked to leave. Like, what? Yeah, he dude, Why? he loves Star Wars. So the Sunday before we found out that he got fired, he did an interview and they asked him about his Star Wars movie. And he said, for reasons I can't go into right now, it's incredibly, incredibly, incredibly difficult. And it's one of those things where if it can't be great, it shouldn't exist. Like, and he talked about going to see Star Wars with his dad when he was young. Like, he's he's a fan fan, you know? And his vision, his pitch for the film was let's go 60 years after Rise. Ray is, is an old woman, but before she dies, she's finally going to pass on what she's learned. She's going to train new Jedi. And to me, I think there's a couple of different reasons why I like this idea. Number one, it puts a little bit of distance between the sequels. So mm -hmm. we would see Ray as the Obi-Wan and it's almost a different character. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it would have put a new chapter on Ray, perhaps a version of Ray that a lot more fans would be open to. And then they could fill in the gaps with whatever shows, movies, whatever they do. Right. Yeah. Um, and I like that idea. But I think what I like even more is like, bro, we would be so interested to see what the galaxy looks like and, and what is the like new conflict? What has these like systems and politics organized themselves into? Is there a new big threat? All these mysteries. Right. And instead, we're going back to Ray six years after the last film. Like, that doesn't feel nostalgic. That just feels like yeah. a sequel, you know? Yeah. yeah, it is. It literally is a sequel. So there's no difference. Yeah. yeah. So I would have really loved it. And also, the one thing that was really interesting is the guy that reported this also said that the Daisy Ridley thing came together last minute behind the scenes. But that's so weird because I was hearing so many rumblings about that. So it almost feels like Kathy hired Lindelof and made an old Ray movie to like leverage Daisy Ridley into coming back where Kathy's like, this is your last opportunity or I'm going to go old Ray and then you're done. You know what I mean? Awesome. Uh, it just feels so weird, dude. And, and meanwhile, they're not going to, talk about any of this publicly and they're just going to act like no everything's fine it's all planned we, yeah it's all planned palpatine from the start bro you know and and yeah, let's give go me yeah. give me a break yeah come on ah! so yeah, literally that's where we're at i'm like a tie well, fighter there a little bit well what do you think of older ray and the, the his original idea i'm done with ray i don't want any ray i don't want any sequel stuff not even an 80 don't even ask way no not even the 80 year old no lady. let's go let's go 500 years after sequel trilogy you know how cool that would be it would be some cool. craziness I'm with, I'm with you but if you had to choose daisy ridley ray or old lady ray mm, daisy ridley ray really okay yeah any reason reason why just because she's kind of hot or no um I just feel like there's a lot of sordid tell for Ray that mm -hmm. hasn't been told. That's so true. Like, why, why would we jump to her being 80 when you could tell literally so much more? Like maybe now we could actually have some character development for her, you know? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I mean, they're going, so they're going 15 years past it. So mm. it's, it's, you know, it's still a time jump. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. For me, again, I like the idea of the older Ray because it's like, it's seeing, cool. Yeah. It's cool. Like, well, with Star Wars, we've seen this before, right? Between, you know, a young Kenobi and an old Kenobi, a, right. you know, a young Anakin and an old Anakin, young Luke and old Luke now in the sequel. So it does feel like it would play. I, I just, I think maybe part of the reason is I would be so interested in what a much older Ray was like. And if it was very different, I could be intrigued into finding out how she got there. As opposed to like, here's Ray 15 years after it, and here's like what she's doing. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, no, I see what you're saying. I, you know, also with the 80 year old version, it's like we could just get her basically where she dies, and then we focus on, you know, the new student. Yep. 
it would be a true baton passing because she would probably die, sacrifice herself at the end of the movie, much like Ben did, you know. So, uh, yeah, it would be a true way to sort of go into this new era Journey. and phase. Yeah, yeah. No, it'd be cool. I'd be, yeah, you know. And maybe we'll she was gone the whole time, right? Like we don't really know. It could be the case that because she, gone. if she's finally training Jedi in her eighties, maybe she would have been literally absent, like the entire galaxy moved on and Ray just disappeared. You know what I mean? And then like reappears 60 years later. Um, so like Luke. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah kind of so like Luke. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wanna... but yeah. I would have loved it. I can't, I still, it still keeps freezing chat. So I can't see what people are saying but uh i'd be very interested to know you can go on uh the youtube page true 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 true. very interested to know what people think about old ray hold on I'm just gonna share something here My point of view is when you take a beloved character and fundamentally change that character between stories, if you fundamentally change that character off screen, then at that point, you invite people to disagree with you. There are people that I've talked to who needed to see that version of Luke Skywalker. Perfectly legitimate. But you know what else is also is legitimate? People who say, this is the guy who saved darth vader yeah. darth vader and i always felt that luke skywalker was the epitome of not giving up yeah and then kylo ren who's like i, I don't know who i am and looks like yeah man he's lost i don't know I've, i gotta go and hang out i gotta i've gotta find the first jedi temple so i can hang out and and die yeah last thing we saw, <laughs> yeah had the, the level of compassion that it would take to throw down his weapon in front of his mortal enemy and declare i'm not gonna fight anyone yeah i won't hurt anyone and I'm certainly not going to hurt this man, my father. Yeah. Um, you failed because this is what a Jedi is. Yeah, yeah. That guy doesn't ever for a moment think about murdering his best friend and his sister's kid. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm going to try to be his. Yeah, 100%. Dude. <laughs> like, and I don't know if Disney like even understands what they've done. You know, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. Did you know Return of the Jedi just came out? in the theaters again yeah not in canada though not in canada do you know that it made the top five box office for that weekend pretty cool yeah it's crazy right and there's also this like rumor out there uh that i've reported on that it it's that and this is something that i think you've thought of for a long time that maybe one of the reasons that grogu came back with mando is because disney literally did not want to do more luke so because Grogu is such a hot sort of commodity for merchandising, they jettisoned him back to Mando because Lucasfilm was like, no, we're not going to do more young Luke and Grogu together because we don't want Luke as a part of uh, the the plan of content moving forward. And I'm I'm somewhat skeptical of this report, right? That. Because it came from a place, uh, a couple of dudes named, I think, WDW Pro, and they have gotten some stuff right in the past, right? Here's my problem with this report, though. I think Luke will be the star of Dave's movie. Me too. So if that happens, then this report is not true. Because I don't think the report's true. Man. I don't think it's true either. But I'll tell you this. If if Luke is not in that movie or they don't do much with Luke anymore, I might look back at this report and be like, bro, like, yeah, I mean. I'm all for tinfoil hat stuff and like, you know, you know, for sure. But I, I think that's a little. I mean, pfft, maybe, dude, but they wouldn't be they wouldn't be that stupid. Let's well, I mean, they wouldn't be that. Think stupid. Of, I mean, they're out know. of touch, but, you know, they, they're not. Yeah. Plus, I feel like with the, like all the work they've maybe. done to build up that deep fake Luke, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they've yeah. done a lot of work. So I think if you see some more young Luke, which. I'll also, it would be kind of cool if Luke was in, you know, the Ray movie, if Luke was in the Filoni movie, if Luke was in these movies, that would be kind of cool. I think obviously people love Luke Skywalker and, you know, the version that we uh, 
we like actually grew up with. So that's the version we could get in Dave's movie, dude. You, you know, know, if if you told me this before Luke came back in season two, I'd be like, yeah, hundred mm-hmm. percent. And you know, with the whole like Andy Gutierrez like fan Luke fanboy tears or whatever, yeah, bull crap. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. But with the fan reception and the spike in views for the Mandalorian season two with Luke, yeah, um, and then the probably spike that they saw with the Boba Fett episodes of Luke. I I mean they're they're numbers people. They don't they're not you know those those guys aren't really story people in my opinion. The not the ones working on the story like John Favreau, Dave Filoni, they are, and you know everyone else. But the yeah. the ones making those executive decisions aren't story people in my opinion. They just look at graphs and they're like, oh okay, well well let's just do what what this one did. And well like Luke was in there, so you know Spike, eh, we'll do it again. I don't yeah. think they would they would remove Luke after seeing this match like. Maybe people like Luke. I don't know. Let's put him in. Like, I just don't think yeah, they would. I agree. I agree. It just seems weird. can him. I mean, maybe. I, I think. I think the whole reasoning behind putting Grogu back with Din. Is to probably have Luke go on some other story where he like connects with Ben. And maybe we'll get like a Ben and Luke sort of. I don't know about spinoff. Maybe like a couple episodes of some show with Ben and Luke. Um, but mainly because of their merchandising, as you said, for Mando and Grogu, it's so established yeah. father yeah. and son, Yeah, you know, Luke and Grogu isn't as established, I guess. And maybe in, in their pinheaded opinion, they think that Mando and Luke, Mando and Grogu are going to sell better. So mm-hmm. let's just put them back and we'll see, you know, what happens. But as they yeah. saw with the reviews for Mando three, not nearly as high as season one or two. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. And also they made a bunch of Luke merch. Like there's young Luke mm-hmm. hot toys. There's uh, Luke and Yoda Funkos. There's a yeah. shit ton of Luke stuff. So again, like yeah. the report just seems like it. It probably is just bullshit. Um, like I assume these guys are actually talking to somebody that claims to be like a For real sure. source. Yeah, they're not making but it up. They're not making it up. But it's just it doesn't track. And I and yeah, man. I like it seems like they're gonna do more with Luke for sure. But then again, like it's also Lucasfilm, bro, you know, and the idea of them like squashing down Georgia's stuff and propping up the new stuff. I mean, that's something we've been talking about for a long, long time. It certainly feels 100% like they, that's what's going on, you know, without a doubt that yeah. I, we'll see what happens. I mean, yeah, I think we'll see. Dave's movie comes out, it's, you know, um, Luke's going to be front and center. Oh, dude, like he better be yeah. like. Dude, that would be wild. Yeah, that'd be the real sequel trilogy or the real the real sequel movie. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because it's that, the first I... the first movie after Return of the Jedi is going to be that. You know what would be so wild too is like if the Ray movie like somewhat underperforms, right? Like if the Ray movie comes out and it does like four, five, six hundred milli, and then like the following year, Filoni's thing comes out and it does like two billion, like two bill. Oh my yeah, God. dude, and they're just like, bro. At that point, they might just give him everything. Those, you know those, I mean? those executives are gonna be like, oh, <laughs> oh well, yeah. All right, let, let's sideline the Ray stuff. Let's uh, let's maybe focus on what George had originally. Maybe some Luke stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I see. I see the graph goes up here. So, hmm. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Let's do some more of that. Yep, yeah. that's probably that's probably how they would uh how they would approach it. But that'd be a W for us, right? As a fan, so. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, uh, that'd be nice. That'd be super cool for sure, man. Yeah, hope it happens. Yeah. Then you know their their sales for their their cups of the Luke fanboy tears would tank because well maybe it would rise actually because you know our tears would be there but maybe it would be you know because we're happy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't uh, know, dude. Yeah. We could get those, take all those mugs and just put a like X on them or an anti symbol, and then you could sell them to us. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? You know yeah. what? Maybe I'm gonna release those. <laughs> there you go. That's a that's a million dollar idea, that's right? A million dollar. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> hey, no problem, man. No we, problem. We, Just send me we, one. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Yeah, you know. There you, you go. You get a cut. There you go. There you go. Yeah, we'll see, we'll dude. See. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think when it comes to Star Wars, it's you know, even though we're we're on shaky ground and mm. there's weird stuff happening, and I have like zero faith in Kathy, and Mando three was a huge step down yeah, right weird. it still feels like we have a way forward 
You know what I mean? Like if if Ahsoka is as good as we think it will be, that will capture the fandom. Uh, by the way, I think Mando's numbers actually ended up doing pretty decent. Um, like it's it's tricky and we won't know for sure until the Nielsen numbers come out. But the Samba numbers, like the five day on really the finale. Yeah. So the first day, this is actually really interesting. I wonder what you, you think of this. Can you bring this up? I can, but like it took me a while to like kind of get into the minutia of this because originally Samba, let me see here. Originally Samba said that on the first day for Mando 3's finale, it can't. Okay, right here. I got to pull it up. Here we go. So this is like crazy interesting. And I wonder, like, if I were Disney, I would see this and be like, we need to change the way we are releasing this shit. Oh, shit. Well, that's not it. Okay, so check this out. I got it pulled up. Okay, so this is the first day for the finale. 662. Now, that is, like, much lower than what Season 2's did on the first day. But... The five day numbers, which they, uh, I think they reported again. Let me see here. The five day numbers, yeah, were were much better. It was like one point five. Oh, so so it matched Boba Fett and did more. I think Mando two was like one point three in the five day. So it opens lower, but then over the five day actually creeped up to higher. Now, at the end of the day, I still don't think any of these numbers are particularly great when you look at like what freaking HBO is doing, right? No. Uh, but it's still like, look, man, Andor's numbers were shit. At least Mando's numbers, yeah, that's what that's the five day. I'm that's pretty the sure. premiere. That's the premiere. Oh, is that the premiere? Watch the season three premiere of The Mandalorian on Disney. Plus. Is that Samba? Mm, yep. That's probably according to Samba. Yeah. Okay. But that's the premiere. That's not the actual. Uh... That's not the finale, no. Finale. Yeah, it dipped throughout, but then I think it picked back up for the finale. Well, that's like, good for them. Yeah, yeah. So basically, like, all that to say, they didn't lose massive audience. It seems like they've definitely lost some people, and some people are not checking it out on that first day because there's not as much hype and draw. But it's not a disaster. It's not as bad as it could be. So no, they still... I, I mean, they still haven't... <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, we're all just kind of hanging in, you know, waiting for it to get better. Yeah. I mean, you know, we'll see how it goes. What's up, Yuri? Yuri says, missed you guys last week. No new Star Wars episode, no console to play Survivors, and no nerd theory. I'm going to the dark side here. By the way, the dark side of the Force is testosterone. That's why they all go angry and bald. <laughs> it's Dude, true. That's wild. That's it's wild. true. Um, we're going to be doing a watch party, guys, uh, Wednesday at 11.30 p.m. Pacific time, 2.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern uh, for Visions, for May 4th. Yeah, I'm excited about that, man. What's up, Sajid? What's up, Sajid. boys? How you doing? Shout out Theory for pushing through last night and still making it here tonight. Great stream earlier, Josh. That Twitter stuff was too funny. Kind of surprised Gun didn't say anything. Yeah, I think he's he's trying to... Can uh restrain himself. I, I guarantee he's been talked to a little bit about that because uh I mean, did you see the Ben Affleck thing? No. So Gunn said in an interview, or no, he was talking, he was talking on Twitter again. Don't shouldn't be doing this, James. He was talking on Twitter and he told somebody that Ben Affleck could come and direct something in the DCU and that he's like really excited to like work with Gunn in the DCU. Okay. And so like a week later uh ben affleck gets asked about this and he's literally like absolutely not i would never do anything in guns universe like what? hard no like hard no and that's because he's a Zack snyder guy like ben loves zach zach just had snyder con over the weekend and affleck showed up affleck showed up was there with everybody you know that's and cool. uh, he has dude, a yeah, snyder con awesome. yeah yeah, it all benefits like suicide awareness because of what happened with his daughter and everything. I bought a couple of the shirts to support, but I couldn't make it out. He, but uh, so they're basically like all of his movies. Yeah, they screened a bunch of his movies in IMAX, uh, wow. which is sick, dude. Oh, you know, man. yeah, awesome. yeah. It's a it was a big cool event. So 
pretty sweet. I'm excited for Rebel Moon. I want to see what that's about. Oh, hell yeah, man. Hopefully we get more buzz on that soon. Mm -hmm. If Ahsoka talked to Rey in Episode 9 through the World Between Worlds, that means she knows the Emperor will be alive somehow in the future. This could set up a different timeline where they can give a better future to everyone, including Luke. Yeah, but she also, I think, has the understanding that she can't change things. That's going to be a big part of Ahsoka, the show. Like this entire sequence in the world between world that we've heard about, the whole, uh, apparently, and we don't know for sure, but apparently the whole concept of that is to show her she can't change the, the future. She can, she, certain things are going to happen and it might change slightly. Like maybe she's the one to fight Anakin on Mustafar instead of Obi-Wan. But either way, Anakin gets confronted on Mustafar. He goes full dark side and gets cut down and becomes Vader. Like that's just that's going to happen no matter what. So she can't change it. So she wouldn't try, I don't think. Thanks, Yuri. Fat Naked Jimmy Neutron. Cordova talks about the Zepho in game and mentioned he discovered that they might not have died, but instead were hiding in the unknown regions. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, I must have missed that. Yeah. That's cool. I'd love to see more of the Zepho, bro. Why is chat not populating for me? Something's going on with StreamYard, bro. Yeah, they got a big Glitch. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's all like glitched out. Okay. It's all glitched out, bro. Mm -hmm. Would you get a charcuterie or yeah. some kind? Oh, damn, with the strawberries too? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. My little, oh, little okay. protein chip. Why is it not coming out? Yeah. There you go. There you go, bro. <laughs> with a little strawberry protein shake. Gotta get that protein in. There's something man. stuck in there. Ooh, maybe a chunk of strawberry or something. But it's not. <sighs> Can I have a new straw, please? <laughs> Yo. What's in this? Oh yeah, that protein's hardened. Okay. Game over. That's what's that's what's clogging it up. Yeah. Game over. Wait, maybe we can suck it from the other end. <laughs> Give it a shot. God damn, bro. No, it's um no, it's in there. Bro, I feel like <laughs> every year for some reason, and maybe this is just the case that the chat, help me out here. Does the Met Gala always happen on a Monday? Because I'm pretty sure it happened last time when you and I were on here. And I pretty sure I commented on Jared Leto last year. Do you remember? Where he looked like something out of a like a high fantasy like crazy yeah. ass no, shit. Like... <laughs> well, he showed up as a furry to the Met Gala. <laughs> like he's legit a furry. All right, thank you. <laughs> Chat, you got to see this shit. It's un unbelievable. That's better. Next time, bring me a proper straw. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone's going to get clipped. Can you get clipped, bro? Let him clip it. Let him. Um, Did you, well, I'm you hear what I said this. about him being a furry? Who? Jared Leto. He showed up a in a full furry costume to the Met Gala. Yeah. What is this? What is it? What is the Met Gala? It's just people who wear ridiculous outfits. I think it's just like an art thing. It's like, uh, a, yeah, it's like a fancy art party thing where everybody dresses all crazy. Everybody dresses like uh, Padme or tries to be all ridiculous. Basically. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to refresh because I, I can't get it. I'm not seeing yeah, no worries. Coming. No worries. Look at me. I am the captain now. Oh, he's back. <laughs> yeah, it's not, dude, weird. It's like not populating it. I'm going to I'm gonna have to read it from, um, from the side. You guys okay with that? <sighs> tough, tough. Theory, so I got into it on Twitter with a formal former friend. Also, who is Levi? What he, the one who tried to ask you to stop hating in The Last Jedi? Why do these 
uh, Slimos keep going after you. So pathetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Levi was the guy that came into Nerd Council over a year ago, and that guy, he, I, I put him on there so he could um, promote his channel, and then he's just started saying how he doesn't like my content anymore and like how um, I'm essentially toxic and all this stuff. So he had then this whole, he started like, planned thing. Yeah, it was like a planned thing. I think him and like someone had I don't know who who brought him on. I think Choco brought him on. I don't know if it was whoever. But, um, and then, uh, so I, I, I let him have a piece of my mind and, uh, then the next day I found out he was getting death threats and stuff from people. So I brought him back on the channel, uh, to do a live stream and tell everyone that, Hey, like we can have disagreements, but you know, death threats aren't cool. Um, certainly I've gotten so many of them. I had my ex fiance that had uh, a lot of them and the, you know, the R word, um, really, really bad ones. Um, that left her pretty scared to go outside and i'm like don't worry about this. this is just that's the internet but you know some people who aren't on the internet don't understand these things mm -hmm. um so yeah uh, um i don't know do we want to go into detail on this it's um it's, it mean, is what it, people people will use you for clout they'll betray you they'll whatever and uh it is what it is yeah no it is what it is and, and i think too man like Look, uh, I just don't think these people keep that same energy when it's a different situation. So, like, you know, you and I were talking a little bit about this, but like when it comes to like my whole James Gunn thing, right, bro, none of these same people were like, you're sending all of your followers like to him, right? You're sending all your followers like to Josh and he's getting all this like hate and all this like shit. Dude, nobody yeah. had that energy for that. And the same thing with you. Nobody has that energy when everybody, and it's not everybody, it's a lot of people are just either dogging on you or just saying absolutely horrible shit about you. And yeah. it's like, where's, so it's fine when James Gunn's robo minions and all those weirdos are like calling me sexist or misogynist or, you know, all these things over and over again. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's not okay if you want to defend yourself or if I want to defend myself. It's, it's crazy. So I think, um, I think at the end of the day, if you're fucking around on Twitter and you're talking about somebody in the public square, yeah. fair play to this person to come in and defend themselves and talk facts on how they feel about shit. And, mm -hmm. you know, this idea of, well, you're bullying or you're sending all these people. I'm like, no fucking way, bro. Like you've, you've never, and like to your point about Levi, you've even tried to curb some of that. Well, every time. But, it, but at the end of the day, like, dude, it's the internet. You're going out there and putting out flagrant opinions. Yeah. It's fair game for people to come at you. Like, I'm sorry. And also, by the way, too, just turn the phone off. Walk away. You know what I mean? Like, if it ever, you know, gets too much, truly, yeah. just walk away. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's a little unfortunate, man. But uh, it's where my confusion is with a lot of it. It's because, you know, uh, in response to your question, and I'm, I'm showing this. Um, all the super chats because it's not working on Streamlabs, so I'm just gonna have this screen. Which actually, I kind of like the screen; it's not bad. No, um, not bad. Yeah, it's you know, I get a lot of hate, whether it's on TikTok or whatever, um, based on my opinions on Star Wars. And I find it's really interesting that um, I'm in a space where I talk about Star Wars, and then people talk about me talking about Star Wars. It's like they're not talking about Star Wars; they're talking about someone else's opinion. Um, which I find really bizarre because uh, I never do that. I never talk, you know, so-and-so has this opinion on Star Wars, like, get him. Like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care what your opinion is on Star Wars. Like, yeah, I want to just talk my piece and that's it. So um, when I see a lot of people constantly trying to, you know, punch down on me and, you know, they're getting hundreds of thousands of views on their stuff and, you know, I ignore it. But when it's on Twitter, I think I have a totally free right to just defend myself and be like, no, look, what I think you're saying is wrong. Like, this is not correct. Like, it's not the way you're spinning it. And um, yeah, I mean, I think anyone should have the the backbone to be able to defend themselves. Yeah, I agree. I think if that's, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, again, like, don't if let you're people gonna, walk if, on you, man. Yeah. And if you're out there engaging in this kind of activity, like you just you have to like it's the public square like and and even by the way because like i i try to not engage at, and there's a saying of like don't feed the trolls right 
and I think that's good. Like, you know, there's like reply guys, comment guys. There's a lot of people just trying to get a rise out of you. But I think with this sure, particular yeah. individual and some of these people, it's different. It's a person that knows you. It's a person that spent time, you know, understanding had, your character. Hour long right? phone conversation, just shooting yeah. shit and hanging out. And, and yeah, and, you know, her being like, I don't and, understand how how people are so negative towards you and crazy if they only knew yeah. you, blah, blah, blah. And, I'm, and now yeah. all of a sudden it's like, what? Right. And so I think something like that right. holds a little bit more weight. You know what I mean? Like, and, and it's like she's almost using the past relationship to emphasize or legitimize the new criticism. And I think in that regard, like, dude, it's fair game for you to be like, no, nah, fuck that. You know what I mean? Like, here's what it is. Well, and, yeah, so, and even in a respectful way, just being like, "Look, this is ridiculous." You know, I mean, mm -hmm. you, you guys, you guys constantly talk about me being toxic, but when do I ever talk about anybody else, man? Mm -hmm. yeah. When does anyone come to my aid for all the people that I am the only one who defends myself? Like, there's nobody. I don't have a crew of people going after all these other Star Wars creators. If you come for me, then yeah, I will make a post responding to you. And if my viewers want to go in and tell you that you're full of shit. Then that's on them. But at the yeah. end of the day, I always make it known that do not I do not advocate violence or hatred or anything like that. Which is more than what you guys do, because you people they literally say, like, oh, he should just die. There's this one TikTok yeah. guy. I forgot his name. He just loves to use my name and he constantly makes these videos about me. Um, about screws and stuff like that. And there are people in the comments being like, oh, I can't wait until he dies. Like, I hope he just mm -hmm. ends himself. When's he going to transfer into the next realm? Like things like that. And I'm like, dude, if I ever said something like this, mm -hmm. it'd be over. Dude. Yeah. Same. same. Over. But so it's okay for other people to say it, but it's never okay for me. And I, that's what I always find strange and weird, but yeah, <clears throat> it is what it is, you know? And, and the funny thing is, it's like, if you, you guys are, you guys are the ones that are getting free stuff from Disney all the time. You guys get tickets from to Disney. You get flown out. You get. I know all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes. I have people that are in every single conversation that you that you think are private. I have so many people that are telling me things, showing me screenshots of the most like disgusting things that people say about me, and I just turn a blind eye because I just want to focus on Star Wars, mm -hmm. and I'm not here for that drama crap. But. If I get dragged into it enough, absolutely, I'm going to make a post and just, you know, have a backbone. I think yeah. that's totally reasonable. I think it's totally reasonable, too. I think in this social media age, I think everybody's kind of trying to sort out, like, how we go about engaging in this kind of stuff. But I think that it is absolutely fair game to be out there and defending yourself, uh, especially in a situation like this. And it's like, if you're going to say... Like, oh, well, this person did this because they're human. Why is that same grace not extended to people like you and I? Because we're successful? Yeah. Like, that's ridiculous. Well, go out you and know work on I mean? a channel then. Like, you know, I, this wasn't given to me. Yeah, same. I put in the hours. So, yeah. Go do the thing. Stop yeah. whining. For sure. For sure. And it's the, it's the victim card that people throw that I find the most just ridiculous, you know? It's like you have the audacity and the freedom to make posts about me nonstop. And this goes for so many people um, talking so much slime about me. But the moment I retweet it and say, like, no, this is not true. This is ridiculous, blah, 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 and give my piece on it. Then you're the victim. Yeah, for sure. You're coming after me, man. You're searching me out. You know, you saw. Yeah. Me. yeah. Don't go poking the sleeping bear and then wonder, you know, hey, oh, shit, I got scratched. Well, leave me alone. Yes. Yeah. I agree. Leave me alone. Yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> thanks, Mariana, for the uh, for the super chat. The only uh, problem yeah. with this is I have trouble seeing. I can actually I can see a little bit better now. I can see him. Um, you want me to do Mariana's? Oh no, she we, did that we one. Just, yeah, we yeah, just yeah, did yeah. One. Okay. Um, maybe oh, shit. I can, can I enlarge, enlarge it? Enlarge it. I can see it. Yeah, I can see it decent there. I don't know why it won't. Uh... Also, I'm old. I have old eyes. Okay. Hold on. Me. Hey, guys. Love from the UK. At last, Nerd Theory falls on my birthday. 24 today, May 1st. Happy birthday, George. Technically, yesterday. For my yeah. gift, please, could you answer that guy who wins these? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, George. Damn, George. Damn. Really went for it there. 
Jokes aside. Said, jokes Thank aside. you for everything. Yeah, Much yeah, love, yeah. man. We, we love you too, George. Thank yeah, you. yeah. Thanks, George. Connor says, hey, Darian and Josh, how are you guys doing? What type of shows would you guys like to see Star Wars make? Uh, I'm doing good, and I would like a young Luke show. I, You know, this younger Luke, I'd want more of that. Yeah. That'd be great. Can you see it a little better now? Yeah, I can see it a little bit better, yeah. And yeah, I know, guys, the, the chat revenue is up there. Um, it's in Canadian, so really it's like four cents. But yeah, <laughs> we're, we're transparent here. You guys yeah, are sending yeah. it in, so we appreciate you. <clears throat> this news does not bode well for the future of Star Wars. Sure don't bode well. Missed you guys last week. No new... Oh, we, we read this one. Why does Luke use force choke on those pigs in episode six? Why not? Oh, dude? yeah. Uh, He's trying to get in there, dog. He's trying to get on in there, so... Theory, when are you going to react to the Pixel Joker 95 uh, Kenobi edit trailers? It's so cool. I've actually, dude, that Pixel Joker thing is just, it just keeps getting buzz. Like, people really love it, dude. Yeah. I'll, I'll watch it. I saw Jeremy Johns talking about it. Cool. Yeah. What's up, boys? How y'all doing? Shout out to Theory for pushing through last night. Um, great stream earlier, to Josh. That Twitter stuff is too. We read this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, What's up, my brothers? You guys are literally what I look forward to every Monday. Theory of the Goat. Also, great stream today, Josh. Love you guys. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, it was a funny one. We had a fun. Oh, Josh always getting the flack from the from the James James Gunn people. We're entwined. We're we're intertwined. He and I now. You guys you are know? a forced dyad. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty your fight much. with Bode was harder than Malikos. Amazing stream. Can't wait for your next one. Yeah, that was not fun. <laughs> yeah. I hated that. Hated fighting that guy. Loved your reaction to fighting Vader in Jedi Survivor. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean the initial reaction? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Yuri says, if Ahsoka talked to... Ri uh, we did go over this one. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. No, we didn't. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, because he was talking about, like, setting the future, like a new future or whatever. Yeah, I just don't think they're going to do that, bro, unfortunately. Cordova Cordova yeah, 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 we read that. One. Talks about the Zepho. That's sick. Uh, Vaughn says a patch dropped today. I'm getting double the frames. Yeah, I've heard they fixed a lot of the issues. Oh, did so they? I'm looking forward. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back in there, checking it out for sure. Yes, I finished the game, Lenza. That was great. My master, thank you for last night, all night. Love you. Yeah, dude, Darth Ostiff was there. Nice. The he had a good time. time. He had a That's good time. Sick, yeah. Chandler says, can we see Cal in the Ahsoka show since he's in the outer rim now? I kind of doubt it, but that would be fun for sure. The final act feels weird. Vader kills Seer, Bode betrays, Dagon Gara gets sidelined. I wish we got more Zepho. Also, I watched the whole stream yesterday. Right on, dude. Thanks for joining the stream. Yeah, yeah it's a little weird that it seems like it went a totally different kind of way or whatnot. Yeah, um, <laughs> those are spoiler i guess so if, if you don't yeah, want right. spoilers for survivor uh maybe uh, uh yeah sorry yo i see those emojis like popping up in the chat that's kind of dope did you see that like when somebody does an emoji it like dances springs like i saw like the hundred thing like popping up a bunch and stuff like that what do you mean there's your wife I don't know. if i see it again i'll let you know what up wifey <laughs> like that right there, right there. Did you see that? If my man yelled at me for a protein shake like that, I would get it from because he deserves the best. Yeah. Oh, thanks, babe. Yeah. No, I'm just, we always laugh because people call me like racist and phobes and sexist and stuff. So she's like, you should just really lean into it on stream. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, what do you mean? Right, she's yeah. like, I don't know. Like, I'll bring you something and you just tell me to get back in the kitchen where I belong. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You don't know Twitter like I do. She's like, It'll be funny. I'm like, okay. I mean, it would be funny, but you she, know. dude, she bought me a bell to start ringing on stream just to <laughs> really play in the whole like. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds amazing. Water. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I, I don't know if I can do that, man. That's yeah. just... <laughs> That's funny. It's cool. She has a good sense of humor, though. Yeah, she's got a good sense of humor. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. Um. Thoughts on Cal Kestis trilogy where it starts on Tantalor training four sensitives and secret and him and the new Jedi come. You know, the whole Tantalor thing's interesting because it's like a safe haven for a lot of Jedi. I don't think I'm there yet. I don't is that something new to the game? Oh yeah, it's you're like not a, there yet. So it's like a little like settlement kind of thing. 
almost like what they were trying to do in Kenobi before Reva showed up. You want me to tell you? Yeah, I mean, I don't care. It's just oh. up to chat. I don't know if chat, I mean. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, chat, turn away if you don't want spoilers. I mean, I'm going to explain something right now. So, you guys gone? Just come back in like a minute. Let me give him a second. There's going to be somebody that just stumbles into the stream and then yeah. hears this and they're going to be like, ah! but you know. the theory spoiled everything for me. Yeah, dude. They're going to be so mad. Okay. Okay. There's this device that you're going after. Um, let me begin by saying the, the dude you see in the trailer with the white hair, he's from the High Republic. Um, and he was like frozen there. He was basically yeah. outcast from um, the Jedi because he found this place called Tantalor which is extremely hard to get to. And it's like an old temple where he wants to essentially build a whole new school of Jedi and like move everyone over there. And then eventually it gets invaded by the space Vikings um, in the High Republic, which are called the, uh, what are they called? What are the space Vikings called in the High Republic guys? Oh yeah, the Nile. The Nile. The, the Nile, the, I think. Nile, yeah, yeah. Then they get invaded by the Nile. The Jedi abandon Tantalor and they don't go with uh Dagon's plan. Dagon gets really pissed off at them and says we should have stayed and fought and like destroyed everyone. He gets frozen basically in like stasis, uh, in the back to mm. sort of thing for like two hundred years. And um, he's looking for this device which will point him in the direction of Tantalor because you need like these certain um, rays that shoot from different planets into proper coordinates that create a triangle that open up a portal through this like abyss. That sounds nuts. It's pretty That's dope. Cool. Yeah. And so yeah. finally at the end of the game, you align everything and you end up going to Tantalor. Oh, and cool. And this is like... It's like a beautiful sort of like tropical looking area where like an ancient Jedi temple, like it's it's pretty sweet looking. And now you got the coordinates there and that, you know, yeah. Now, is there any indication that this could be what the new beyond is or is, do you think that's different? No, I think that's something different. OK, because yeah. that would be kind of lit, dude. If like yeah. Cal stumbled into the new beyond, because then you but could maybe see him in the new so beyond with magic. Let me say that like Marin is unbelievably powerful. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Magic is I'm, like is so much stronger than the force. Yeah, super, seems super OP. That's gonna be sick to see that on full display, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Shit. Yep. Should be sick. Theory and Jedi Survivor, you trying to kill Vader was like Josh trying to kill a stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they were dogging on me so hard. They're mean. Like, yeah, they can't be mean. Yeah. I mean, I get yeah. it. You know, I'm the same way when I watch like Tim the Tam and I'm like, you fucking suck too. You know, yeah. so I get it. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes it's just like, especially after 10 hours, 11 hours, you're just like fried. Oh, for sure. Dude, it takes a lot out. I don't know. For whatever reason, gaming and streaming is, it takes a lot out of me. You know, yeah. like, I'm, I feel pretty I'm not refreshed. That great at it. I feel really refreshed. I'm not, already. I don't know. I'm like, I'm right at home talking shit, just being funny, reading stuff, you know. But if I have to like, game and then try to entertain chat it like really it's, dude yeah. i i envy full-time streamers mm, i think that is you the would easiest love to just do it. shit yeah. in the world like we have to like make content like come up yeah. with stuff like they just play a video game <laughs> true true <laughs> like, true 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 like it's so fun dude yeah that's how i was able to do it for four days like eight to eleven hours each day that's fair i mean i will say this the time flies when you're gaming flies. and you're streaming it, it's flies. crazy yeah that's fair yeah, no, so fun. I envy, I love, like, I'm so jealous of them. I wish I could do that full time. It'd be amazing. Yeah. Mariana says Mando season three, deaf, discombobulated, but I don't think it's TLJ, like some tweeters and YouTubers were saying. TLJ is worse. Yeah, I agree with you. And so I was actually curious what, because when I first heard that from people, I wonder what that was, Mariana, yeah. because I agree with you. Even though the ending's really goofy, it's not TLJ level, it's just like mid you know right um but it's possible i heard they shot two endings so there might have been a version of this last episode where din does die and maybe that's what they were referring to but who knows for sure probably 
Since Disney hates Luke Skywalker so much, that means they hate every single well-established character. Yeah, I think they do. I mean, look what they did to Boba, to Luke. They made Obi-Wan a bit... Like, they have this cookie-cutter formula that let's make this already established heroic character disillusioned, and then let's make him, like, try to come back and find his way. It's like... Yeah, for sure. And I think that... What is this, Rocky Three? Like, no. Well, it's like a cheap writing tactic, right? And I also think it's not necessarily in line with, like, the mythic status that, like, when... And th this is, like, what Sam was saying. It's like, when jo when Luke ascends and he hits that moment in return, like, there shouldn't be a regression from that point. That's okay. the end. That's, okay. like, where he's at. And then him as that character, that's his status forever yeah. right right so i don't know man that's like just i think it's a super cheap trick to be like oh well what if they lost their yeah, way yeah it's, it's lame know? it's just a typical cookie cutter crap that they do because they don't know how to actually evolve george's story they just regress them and then oh let's make them uh a new care let's make them have a character development they've had that dude they had their downs yeah they're good sure. now let's like mm -hmm. let's evolve it a little bit let's not make them so down in the dumps that they like completely give up on everything you guys are stupid i hate stupid it stupid buttholes man. it's just constantly regression 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 george spent 40 years to progress these characters and disney just takes them and regresses them back yeah to make their new characters go forwards and then give them a couple steps but they're still all the way back it's like i know what like, the hell are you guys doing in what world this is what's crazy, bro. We live in a world where there's like John Wick, right? This like yeah. new franchise, totally awesome assassin person. And then they go to make the Boba Fett show and they decide to make him rule with respect. Like, I like who's in that fucking room? Like who, like, why didn't somebody just go, what if we didn't do that? And like took the whiteboard and like broke it over their knee. and was just like, this is ridiculous guys. Like, why don't we just push yeah. with modern technology this already established character and just make him do a bunch of badass shit for eight weeks? Uh, that's it. And then wipe their hands. Instead, they were like, no, we have to we want to take him through this crazy journey of self-discovery with the, this tribe. And then he's going to rule with respect and not want to get into fight and conflict and all this stuff. It's like, yeah, or he could just go around the galaxy, take a motherfuckers out. And that would have been dope. You know, like what? Like, remember, we talked about this. What if he goes out and tries to get revenge on all the people that did him wrong? You know what I mean? And we see him going through like classics, bro, like Dengar, you know, um, Bosk, you know, like all these different people. Like, what if he's taken out the old crew? Like, oh, just would have been so cool. Tell me, man. Uh, the last millennial says, Josh, don't say the name Bode around theory. I've never seen him more annoyed ever. I was one of the few people the whole stream in Bode is theory's new enemy. How oh, shit, Bode's your enemy. Huh? <laughs> I don't think they've seen me play uh, Elden Ring or God of War. Yeah, there you go. Fair. Uh, what do you think was the hardest boss in uh, Elden Ring? I don't know. I didn't finish it. Mm. There's this pair of twins. That was really difficult. And I remember, remember they, they like teleported and stuff. I was like, ugh. I can't remember if I fought them. Yeah. So there was one that was really difficult and I beat him, but. Uh, well, I before like they patched it, the, it was that massive dude that's on a little horse. Yeah. And be before they patched that, Damn, yeah, he, yeah. Would, he was incredibly difficult. So I beat him before they patched it. it. Yeah. I, yeah. I cheesed him, dude. Did there you? was a yeah yeah because there's like this one spell i forget i think it was like toxic breath that gave bleeding yep. damage yep. Yeah, 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 yeah 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 dude yes yeah so that's that's how i beat him i just like kept spraying him with that and running away yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that guy with the little horse man i hated that guy <laughs> dude it's so funny seeing him on that little horse too i want to play elden ring again hell yeah dude it's a great game they're making uh that same company's making armor core six like a mech version of fucking Elden Ring, dude. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Should be cool. Guys, if you want to see me and Josh game, sub to the Den of Nerds Live, which is his gaming channel and his live channel, and then sub to Theories Arcade, which is my gaming channel. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Uh, I got the Lego BD1 to build for tonight's stream. That's sick, dude. BD1 is cool. Yeah, I like definitely a, a cool droid. Mm -hmm. Maybe kind of lame, but I went back and watched a few Mando episodes from season two with your old watch party vids helped a lot and helped the rough week thanks to you both for the much needed laughs oh thanks brian 
I hope you're yeah, doing okay, yeah. man. Yeah, happy to happy to be there for you, man. John says y'all have to Fortnite tomorrow. Yeah. Anakin prequel. Yeah, we were talking about it. We might we might link up tomorrow and play. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited for it, dude. Yeah, I want to. Um, I gotta download it actually. Oh, it's just so cool. They they make the lightsaber so cool in there. Would you guys watch if I played Fortnite with Anakin? Maybe I'll do it on the gaming channel. It's not really like, too Star Warsy. Star Wars alternate going down a Disneyland Thursday after night. What's Star Wars What's after that? Night going down a Disneyland Thursday? I don't know what that is, but yeah, I don't know I mean, what that is. But yeah, go ahead. Tag, go ahead, tag me, tag me. I'm gonna go pee real quick. All right, no worries. There gonna be some Twi'leks there or whatever. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, Yuri says now that the dark saber is broken. How about Snoke ring turned out to be the dark saber crystal in the Filoni verse. And that's why there's no Mandos in the sequels. Much love from the Brazilian fan again. Thanks, Yuri. Appreciate the love. I don't know, man. I kind of feel like the, the Mandalorians are around in the sequels. They're probably just off screen. Um, Maybe some of them even show up in that final battle because there's like shit ton of ships. We don't really know at the end of Rise. But uh, yeah, maybe, man. I, I think that ring is, and I know Theory feels the same way because he did like a bunch of videos on it or whatever, but Snoke in particular, there's a lot of interest around that, man, you know? And then they just cut him in half and basically say it didn't matter, which I think really hurt fan discussions just, just, around, um, just around Star Wars in general at that point because it felt like, well, why are we taking all this time to theorize and speculate if they're literally going to kind of in like sort of a, a flagrant way, like spit in our face, like with that kind of shit. So yeah, it could be the case. Uh, Robbie Pepper says, are you guys planning to see revenge or uh, return of the Jedi in th while it's in theaters? I've gone twice and took my four year old today. She loved it. May the force be with you. Um, how long is it playing? I thought it was just one weekend. If it's playing for longer, I would love to see it. The only problem is, I, I mean, I have a very, very busy week and I'm going out of town two weekends in a row. So I don't know if I would see it, but I was shocked to see how much box office it made in the weekend. I mean, literally came in fifth and made like five million dollars. It's pretty wild, bro. Like a 40 year old movie. What did you know? Oh, uh, Return? Yeah. 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 yeah it's pretty, pretty cool. Just tells you how much people want, you know, the old Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I did uh, Peppers and uh, Yuri. And Robbie? Wait, yeah, and Robbie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, thanks <laughs> for the great content, Theory and Josh. Theory, will you ever do a watch party with all the Clone Wars seasons? <laughs> Damn, that's a lot. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot, man. I mean, we could. We could literally do one every night. Yeah, yeah, you could. Dude, I've been tearing through uh, Black Clover. Have you ever seen that, the anime? No. Oh, dude, I love it, but it's kind of wild. We stepped back the other day and said we're like 82 episodes in. And I was like, damn, like that's a lot of episodes. But I mean, the anime ones are only about 20 minutes, but still, that's crazy, man. It's wild. What's called Black Co Clover? Yeah, Black Clover. It's about like uh, magic users. Everybody has like a grimoire oh. and they do spells and shit. Cool. Yeah. The main character is a character that has no magic in a world where everybody has magic it's really cool yeah and then he pulls this sword out of this out of his book and the sword is anti-magic so like he can cut through spells when he hits somebody with it it takes away their magic and shit but he's the only person that can use it because he has no magic it would suck away his magic if he did oh uh it is dope bro that's actually really cool yeah i like it a lot very cool character oh yeah, I really hope they don't kill off Cal in the games. He needs to make it to live action. Also, I'd love to see a nerfed Star Killer in live action. Yeah, me too. Star and Sam Whitworth. Would be nice. Yeah, it would be sick. Yeah, it would be good. It's KK and her activist focused team that F things. Yeah, I think a lot of that's true, man. I think at this point you kind of can't deny it. Jedi Survivor was on level of tales as far as good storytelling. Everything else in 2022, 23 was mid. Damn. That's that's impressive. But if you think about it, Darth Baba, if at the end of the year, if Ahsoka is as good as we think and you've got um, Survivor, Ahsoka and Tails, I mean, that's kind of like three dubs like that's, you know, that's pretty good for what we've been getting with Star Wars. So. Yeah, I'm excited for Tails, too. 
Yeah, yeah. Should be good. I expect it to still be like half the episodes that I don't care for, but I am interested to check it out for sure. And you're getting called out. What happened? What? She thinks oh, in the comics, Josh. I know. Dude, I went on a whole thing. I like freaked out this morning about it because like, yeah, everybody is bringing that shit up. And I was just. I saw your tweet. Um, yeah. What's her face? Jessica Alba is going to be. No, Mila Kunis. That's Mila the Kunis. rumor. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So I know that's probably just an attempt to trigger me, but uh, maybe next time. <laughs> Weird. She's gonna dude, they better not thing? fucking do that. Yeah, that's there. She was gonna be Ben Grimm, but dude, they they cannot do that. Like, <sighs> everyone loves a gender swap of a dude, already established character. Uh, no, <laughs> first of all, no. <laughs> Second of all, this one in particular is just so bad. You're toxic. Like, this one is just so bad. So, yeah, please don't do that. Other than that, the Fantastic Four cast seems really crazy. You know, Adam Driver is gonna be Reed Richards. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's like 95% chance he's going to be Reed, which is awesome. You know, cool. dude's great. So, yeah. I want to ask Lisa something. Yeah, what? Does she like tattoos? Yeah, she's got she's got a few Would tattoos. Would she want yeah. you to ever get like a sleeve or something? Hmm. I and don't if know. she does, what would she like on you? I mean, yeah, if she's watching, she can obviously like answer. Anime, but uh, we've talked like we've talked about it a little bit because like I've thought about getting because I want to get an Enzo. You know what I mean? I've always wanted an Enzo on my uh, Enzo. forearm here. Yeah. The Zen circle. Oh, yeah. Um, But other than that, I've never really been a like a tattoo guy. I also hate needles, bro. Oh, I don't like needles, bro. Really? No. Uh uh. It's on uh -uh for me, but I could probably do like a couple or whatever. And and who knows? Maybe if I tried, I would be like, OK, that's not so bad or whatever. But. Yeah, hmm. yeah that's an issue. Then. Yeah, it'll be OK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'll be right. it's scary. By episode seven, the entire planet of Corson has been abandoned. How? Why? Do you think Disney was that ashamed of the prequels? When they bought Lucasfilm, yeah, I mean that's you know why JJ said that thing. This should make things right or whatever he said. Yeah, no, he. This will begin to make things right, which is crazy because the prequels were. I would argue the prequels were way more successful than the sequels. You know, um, if, if you look at the box office in with in considering inflation, I would say they probably did. Other than the Force Awakens, they were on par. Um, but the main thing for the prequels was the merchandise, dude. Mm -hmm. Like it went crazy. The prequel merchandise absolutely destroyed the sequel merchandise. Like it's not even close. So yeah, they were like afraid of not being critically, you know, loved and, you know, ended up doing what they did. So it's weird. Huh? Ricard. Yeah, that's a cool name, dude. Muna. Uh, I went to the premiere for the Return of the Jedi 40th. So cool seeing it in the cinema. It was packed, even on a small island where I live. I think it says something. I love you guys. Yeah, I agree, man. I, think so too, I agree. Man. I heard a lot of stories of like pretty packed theaters over the weekend, which is nice. I'd rather get a movie about the Vespa gang than about Ray. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> like, whatever. Yeah, the Vespa gang was like, you know, sometimes I, I just think about it. I'm like, that was so lame. It was so ridiculous, dude. And then the way they shot those sequences, like they didn't so have to and, make yeah. it even worse. I don't know. Making it, yeah. I'd like a sequel to take place a little after to make where Luke had a son hidden and make him Cade Skywalker. That'd be cool, man. I just, there's, I see no way they're going to do that, but I would like it. I would like no, it. No, never. What's up, Militia of Man Meat? All right. Lucasfilm has tons of layups in terms of content. Literally why they're going this route. Vader show, Plagueis, Endless Ws. Uh, I don't think they're doing a Vader show or Plagueis anything. Yeah, but I think he's right. Like, if they, they could legitimately do that, you know, and it would be pretty freaking awesome. They could do anything. I wonder if, um, I wonder if, if somebody else were to buy Disney or if, you know, Luke, let's say, Disney would have sell Star Wars. I wonder if another company would like do stuff like that and be like, no, we're just going to do like fan pleasing, like, boom, here it is. You know? Yeah. Whether it's six 
or 60 years after Rise, they cannot escape the simple fact that literally all their abilities are completely unearned. Can't get past that. Yeah, they yeah. can't. I mean, you can start to make them uh, have some character development now, but it's <laughs> when people look back, they're going to be like, wait, how did how did she do this? Like, it just makes no sense. Yeah. No, there's no uh, progression training and stuff like that. They they tried to fix it in Rise, but like I don't really. No, nah, bro. I don't think they did a great job. No. Trev says, do all Jedi have to be killed? Is Yoda the only one who dies naturally? If she's supposed to be the chosen one, she probably shouldn't be murdered. That's a good question. I wonder it's how many one, right? Jedi. Yeah. She's not I the mean, chosen one. She definitely isn't, but. Uh, is there other Jedi that just die of old age or literally do all of them get murdered? Bro, a lot of them get murdered. I guess Ben Kenobi like just goes in. No, he, the died. he died. He got murdered. Yeah, I guess he got cut down. Yeah. Um, damn, Yoda just... might be the only one, dude. Dude, what if that's why he went to Dagobah? What if Yoda was literally like, bro, I'm not doing this shit. Like, all y'all are just getting cut down. Like, I'm going to go live on the swamp. <laughs> I think what pisses <laughs> like, me off the most is the whole Reva thing with, like, Qui-Gon not surviving, but Reva true. surviving twice, and Qui-Gon is, like, 8 million times stronger than Reva. Yeah. It's just... Yeah, it's weird. Like, if... I don't know. I don't know. Like, if you're Darth Maul and you have the dark side... I can understand, but like Darth Maul is a one of one. Yeah. Of like pure hatred and his mm. shill, like his, his, his mere will to survive is just mm -hmm. his sheer will to survive is just unmatched by anybody else. And that darkness within him allowed him to survive and, and you know, s stay alive. But Reva as a kid doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild. I just. Dude, you know what's funny? There is a character in uh, one an anime demon slayer that literally is so muscular that he can move his organs around. And he That's gets cool. stabbed in the heart, but that he moved his heart out of the way. That's cool. Yeah, they should have just explained that Reva did that. Yeah, she could just be like an alien that does that. But if she's just like jacked, hearts. like they look at her, she's just like, and like just moves her heart around. What's up, Harrison? For Super Chat, love Star Wars, Marvel, and both of your channels. What books or comics would you either recommend? Would either of you recommend? A lot of the Dark Horse Star Wars ones. Um, Vader and the Ghost Prison is probably my favorite comic of all time. Uh, I brought it to life on the channel if you want to watch that, or you can just go and actually get the comic. You'll have a great yeah. time. Yeah, I would, I would echo all of that. And then on the Marvel side, I would either pick a character you really like and read a bunch of their like best stories or i would pick a writer you really like and then read a lot of their stuff so that's like the way i do it so i like like jonathan hickman's stuff quite a bit um so yeah, yeah that's a good way to get into the comics t rev what's up we just read that one he's talking about murdering and we? Jedi. yeah yeah which oh. he might have said it twice maybe maybe i don't know Lindelof going old Ray tells us that Lucasfilm knew the sequels are toxic. Well, it it's possible or it's just possible. They said, Hey Damon, do you have an idea for what you would do with this character? And his mind just went to, I want to see her as an old lady. And because, because either way, Ray's not the main character of this movie. She wasn't going to be the main character in Lindelof's movie. She's not going to be the main character in this new movie. So it's really about the Jedi that are training under her. So I don't know. Lindelof just had a vision that that's the way it was going to go. And if you look at his Watchmen series, he does a similar thing. It's like way down the line. And you're seeing like uh, Osmond Deus as an old man. And I thought it was fascinating. I So it just could be like his, just what he thought would be a cool story. Yeah. Theory Return of the Jedi is playing here in BC in fourth year is going tomorrow with my gal. I didn't know he was playing here. I saw it was only in the US and uh, you should US go man. in Mexico or something. Yeah, I'd love oh, to go. You should go. That'd be sick. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was like, oh well, that sucks. Yeah. Mega thick gonk thighs. Oh, baby. Says, I believe I'm speaking for everyone here when I say we should do re Revenge of the Turn of the Okay. 
P.S. Retcon the sequels. P.P.S. Toxic fans for life. <laughs> right on. One of you guys just beat Survivor <laughs> last night. Story was 10 out of 10. Only KK would be so blind to see creatives like the Survivor team and not hire them. Yeah. Yeah. The games yeah. always do well, you know, uh, and, and the books for the most part do well. Yeah. Um, did you get you guys? A lot of you guys read the Sam Meggs, uh, what was it called? The Cal Kestis book. And I bought it too. I just never read it because of your guys' horrible reviews. I was like, I just don't want yeah, to read yeah. that. Yeah. I forget what it was called too. Splinter, Spectre, or something, or I don't know. I don't know. Ezra will be the main character of Filoni's movie. I don't see that happening. I mean, maybe he will be a major player in it, uh, but no, I don't see oh, him being okay. the lead. That'd be wild. Yeah, I don't think so either. KK doesn't want competent male leads. It's obvious. I mean, I agree with you, but you'd have to think at like some point she's just going to realize like that's not working. So, no, I think KK is the type of person that will just continue to bludgeon. It's not working, which means we're not trying hard enough. Try yeah. harder. Oh, try well, even harder. I think now. Uh, this Indiana Jones movie is going to be really telling, man, because if there's a bunch of stinky doo doo poo poo in there, it's her. And if there is a female replacing Indiana Jones, it's her. And I think people like even a lot of people that aren't necessarily like super bugged by all that kind of stuff are even they're starting to get tired of it and be like, dude, this is ridiculous. So we'll see what happens with Indiana Jones, man. But if that is, shit is true, it's her. She right. did it. You're saying that was gonna happen, that he was going to be replaced or something like that. Yeah, it's a it's a rumor. We don't know for sure. And the director has said it's not true. So hopefully it's not. I asked Josh earlier today, but theory, have you seen the Jedi Survivor Wampa and B1's Easter egg? You have to crawl through a crack for five minutes wild. Yeah, I saw that. Someone sent it to me yesterday, and it's like they're like drawing portraits and stuff of each other. Really? And I haven't seen it. That's kind of fun. Yeah, it's funny. There's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You literally go through a crack for five whole minutes, and you get to the other side. And I want to try it. Maybe tonight. And um, it's like a, a B1 droid. And a bunch of others are just like drawing um, a wampa, and the wampa is like naked with his legs open. <laughs> oh. That's funny. That's a cool Easter egg for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? You think you found this like dope thing, and you're like, yeah. bro, oh like, shit, I'll what is it? it? Yeah. And the wampa's like, draw me like one of your French girls. Literally, yeah. that's how he's, and he's like, he's got a big <laughs> ass, like, just. That's kind of hog. Great, yeah, that's kind of great. This dude's name. <laughs> that's funny, dude. Darth Vader, burnt asshole. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, dude. I love that guy. Uh, Ray, 60 years in the future, just sounds like Lucasfilm not learning from the sequel mistakes. Giving those characters 30 years of rope was just too much for the audience to buy into how much they changed. They were smart to ax it. I've heard that take, too, uh, and I get it. I understand the logic of it. I think for me just putting more distance between that character and also like the newness of 60 years away from rise, because like, let's be real. How different can the galaxy be 15 years after the rise of Skywalker? Like it's not going to be that different, but I understand this argument. So. Oh, awesome. He, the, one of the winners got his uh, PlayStation. Cool. Oh, that's sick, dude. Yeah. Just DM me. Uh, sent IGDM with dark Chaco's reaction to Sam says the time Trav to Sam. Uh, the time drive. I'm trying to find like Sam Meg, is that what he's talking about? Huh? No, to to my to the story about Sam talking about oh, last night. Oh, okay, right on. I mean, no offense, but like who cares? What Chaco thinks? Yeah. Yeah, everyone's got a, an opinion. Who, who cares? I'm trying to find it, time travel. I can't. Oh, well, whatever. I don't care enough. I definitely don't. Yeah, uh, I, I, don't, I don't tend to concern myself too much with what other people's opinions are. Um, you know, 
like I may post the odd thing about like Sam Witwer's opinion, like once in a blue moon. Um, that's because he just has a, he's very eloquent and he, I think he's very intelligent. So the way he explains things is um, really clear. And I think his Star Wars knowledge is, you know, uh, unmatched by anybody else. Uh, maybe, yeah, I think Dave knows more than him, but other than that, you know, so um, the way he explains stuff is always really, yeah, really, really uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, let's see here. Uh, JCH says, got to see Return of the Jedi in theaters last night for the 40th anniversary release. Incredible experience. Thank you for the Jedi Survivor streams. Yeah, man, people, ah, man, I wish I would have gone out to see it. How long is it in theaters? I think till May 4th. Ooh, maybe I'll be able to get out and see it. Yeah. Fun. We got we bamboozled got... by the Order 66 scene in the Mando trailer. A little bit, dude. That scene yeah. does nothing. Like, it nope. literally does nothing. No. Nothing. That sucks. Like, oh, okay. It's a random Jedi. Other than the other, other than the fact that it was Ahmed Best, which is great. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. If it was just some yeah. random, if it was some random ass dude, people would be like, okay. What the hell? I know. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Dogfile says, if Luke was the lead in Dave's movie, it would have been mentioned at Celebration, even no. by someone asking Dave. No, dis totally disagree, no Dogfiles. No way. No way. Usually a Spotify listener, glad to catch a stream. Nerd Theory's got me through tons of 9 to 5s. Really appreciate y'all and all you do for the community. You guys are beacons of hope in a dark time for Star Wars fans. Thanks, Morpheus. Yeah, um, for everyone who listens on Spotify, usually there won't be any more uploads on there. Um, I'll be able to disclose everything uh, hopefully soon in the future. But um, yeah, so everything will be on the channel, of course, as always here. So this is your one stop shop. Thanks, Theory and Josh, for all you do. Always love the content. If Star Wars were to redeem Anakin and Luke in subsequent movies or TV, how should they do it? Well, I mean, I think he's about as, yeah, I think he's about as redeemed as he can be. Like the whole Luke thing is redemption. And to a degree, he does not necessarily make up for all the bad shit, but he's a redeemed character. He's put back on the shelf as someone that finally saw the light, saw the era of their ways. I mean, when he says to Luke, tell your sister you were right like that, like he's like, yo, like my bad. <laughs> Basically, it's like yeah. what that is. Um so yeah, I don't know if there's anything else they can do. No. <laughs> yeah. Covering from surgery and watching the show. Thanks for all you guys do. Looking forward to playing Survivor all well this as well this week. Hey, have a good recovery. Yeah, man. Recover. Just rest. Be patient. Dogfile says, I worked in Hollywood. It's a full, it's full of insane narcissists. KK views too much Luke as a personal failure. She can't leave her version of star wars ray is cemented in the future of star wars yeah i totally get what you're saying but here's the thing like if luke is the lead of that movie and if there's a luke show then that rumor is wrong like that's just facts bro like there's no way around that so we'll, we'll wait and see we'll wait and see speak of the devil kathleen Ka kennedy can you guys just let me do my job i am star wars damn okay kathleen sorry Kara Black says, one direction I feel would be very intriguing is if they reintroduce Darth Talon under an unknown dark side slash Sith master as an overarching antagonist and deadly foil to Rey and her new Jedi order. That would be kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. Darth Talon would be cool. Yeah, I want to see a real badass female Sith. That'd be cool. Yeah, for I sure. I am the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Senate. I am Star Wars. Are you? Because I love uh, your videos and streams with a smiley face. That's kind of nice. Harry, do you drink one gallon every day? Uh, what's a gallon? Like a gallon of water. It's like four. No, I know, but what? That's four liters. Yeah, we don't have that measurement here. Um, yeah, yeah, I think about four liters a day, roughly. How many ounces is that big boy? Does it is it in ounces or? I think this one is. Like, this is 45 ounces. Damn. That's a big boy. Yeah, that's I have a, another that's one that's many. like the big one, which is like 80 or something like that. Mm. What's up, fellas? Things 80? are about to get. 
Well, whatever. Two. It's two, going to two swim liters? in two liters. Yeah, that's. Crazy. I don't know what what is like fifty ounces. I, yeah, I, I, um, I don't know. Maths. Let's see. Yeah, it's gotta be like hard. 55 ounces then, I guess. No. Yeah, 55 ounces. What's up, fellas? Things are about to get chaotic. In about seven hours, every writer's room will empty as the WGA goes on strike. Brace for delays. Theory Avengers. Yeah, we'll see. I, I don't think it's gonna be a long one if they do strike, and I do think they'll probably strike uh this week. And we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, you could see some delays. There's um, a strike? Yeah, writer's strike looming in Hollywood, so like what they they're not getting paid enough yeah yeah they're not getting paid enough and also royalties are different in the streaming world so a lot of this stuff mm. and actually apparently netflix is really one of the hang-ups here because netflix is like bro hell no we're not doing royalties like they just that's not how they work over there they give you a big check and then they have it forever is essentially what they want to do so we'll see we'll see if yeah. netflix budges we'll see how it all goes down but i don't like royalties you don't like the idea of the concept? No. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on the product, I guess. Depends on. Yeah. Would you rather get a big check or would you rather get royalties forever? I don't know. That's a tough one. Because like. It, so let's say someone don't... let's say someone buys your comic book. Hey, Josh, we're going to give you five million bucks for your comic book story. We own everything and we can do whatever we want with it. Yeah. Or we're going to give yeah. you what, 5% forever. I got to say, I would probably, because I've actually thought about this before, just with the comic specifically, because like, you know, you never know, like maybe it blows up and then it gets yeah. optioned or something. I think I would probably, it would depend on the platform. I would probably take the money up front as long as they didn't have it in like perpetuity. So like in 20, 30 years or something, I should get it back. You know what I mean? Like the rights or, or whatever. Mm. Um, but yeah, if if they want it forever, I probably would want royalties. Do what JK Rowling did? What what did she do? Well, she does royalties for sure, but that's because it's through like publishing in the book game is like kind of a different animal. And uh, I mean, Harry Potter is literally one of the most sold books every single year forever. And that tends to yeah. be the case. Like when a big book is when a book is very popular, it sells forever because people get new editions. They want to introduce new people to it, you know, and mm -hmm. so it just essentially sells forever. So, uh, yeah, her royalties are ridiculous. Harry Potter book having sold more than 600 million copies worldwide. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter. J.K. Rowling is the best selling book series in history. The first novel in the series, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, has sold in excess of 120 million copies. Yeah, it's ridiculous, dude. And it's like it literally still sells. Like you go into like Barnes and Nobles or like a bookstore, and they'll still forever have displays for Harry Potter new forever. versions. Actually, Elisa just bought this really cool edition of Harry Potter. That's like the Hufflepuff edition, and so it's all like their colors and like their art and cool. stuff like that. So, yeah, she's a Huffle. She's, she's a, a huff full puff, bro. Oh, yeah. She's a puff. She's a puff. Um, what are you? I think I'm a Ravenclaw. Okay. When I did it online, they were like, "Yeah, you're a Ravenclaw." And I was like, "All right, whatever. That's fine." Hmm. Are you a Slytherin? Went to the yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Well, I was a Gryffindor or a Slytherin. I took it. I took it a bunch of different times. I got Gryffindor, hmm. Slytherin. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. The dark side of the Harry evil, Potter. Like evil. Yeah. Hey guys, went to the movies to watch Return of the Jedi last Friday. My theater was packed and there was a lot of cheering. It was really fun with everybody. The true conclusion to the Skywalker saga. I agree with that. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Coria. Yeah. What's that word? Cor What's the name? Coria? Coria? Uh, hey, Theory. How, your TV show live streams have been enjoyable. My best friend who watched almost every Star Wars with me passed away last year, and it's hard getting back into Star Wars. Thank you, Theory. So sorry, Coria. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Yeah, I'm really sorry for that. Chat, can we get some hearts for Coria? Yeah, for sure. It's, it's good that you're keeping the tradition, tradition still. You know. Yeah. Sure, they would love to see that. Also, theory, they passed Bill C-11 in Canada. Borderline Empire vibes. How do you think it'll impact your streams, videos, and tweets? 
Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. I don't typically talk about anything to do with the country, so I think I'm okay. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not like a political channel or anything like that, and I don't talk about any of that stuff. So, you know, I just keep it about Star Wars, so I don't think it'll really affect me. And even if it does, it will just be in Canada uh, for Canadian viewers. Oh, really? Um, okay. I believe That's so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean like American viewers and all that. Like, so... You know, yeah, be fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it should be good. Yeah, Empire vibes for sure, man. <laughs> so, Josh and Theory are both wait, 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 ma ma wait, masters at creating content and keeping us wanting to learn more and up to date with Star Wars and Marvel. Hard workers, thanks, guys. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, guys, do you think we will ever see Hondo Onaka in live action? Also, which character from Clone Wars or Rebels would you like to see in live action? I would love to see Hondo. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that new uh, pirate guy is the same race as Hondo, is he not? In uh, Mando yeah. 3? So, yeah. you no, know, maybe. Maybe you see him. Yeah. The weak way. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Theory, who's the girl? Satine, bo Kreese, Tar, Paz, Vizsla, and Grogu, and Mando's family named is Din? Oh, bro, it's one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. Like, yeah. Din Grogu is yeah. dumb, bro. Yeah, Grogu Jaren. Yeah, all that shit's dumb, bro. Like, just call him Grogu. Like, you don't need yeah. to do that weird, goofy name, whatever mm -hmm. they're doing. I hate it. <sighs> whatever. Nerd Theory clears shill council. Their loss, says Sajid. Uh, Cynical Seb says, Jedi Survivor updating. Hopefully it runs smoother. Cheers, bros. Yeah, I think it will. I think it will. You know, and and, and just to go back to the the nerd council that we had, you know, we, um, we're still tight with... Um, I always forget his name. I always forget his handle. Callus. Callus, yeah. Yeah. There's no, a few he's... others on there that we like, too. Yeah, uh, and that Callus just kind of keeps out of shit, bro. Like, he's, like, not about that. He's just going to keep it moving. He's real. He's going to just, you know, he loves yeah, Star dude, Wars, he, and he's just he, real. So. He's a bro that I actually would, like, go and have food with and hang out with. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's real people, dude. Yeah, he's not playing silly games. No. Full uh, power Legends Luke versus full powered Vader. No attachments. Who wins? I think it's Vader. Full powered Legends Luke versus full powered Vader. What do you think? Uh, full power Legends Luke. Wow, you think Legends Luke, huh? Yeah, full power Legends Luke is. I guess that's what George Anakin. said, didn't he? Yeah, he said he'd be stronger than everyone, right? Yeah, he's like close to full power Anakin. So you do think full power Anakin? Can we get him? We get who? Luke, Legends Luke. Yeah, of course. But not full Vader. power Anakin takes everybody. Well, that's what the oh, question is. Yeah, but no, full power Vader was he's limited. Oh, different. So even, different. even at okay. full power, there's a cap. So it's like even if he doing? had all his limbs. Oh well, if we're talking about that, then yeah. no, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah. he's destroyed. He'd smoke him, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Yeah, full power Vader, full power Anakin are different, in my opinion. It's Vader's yeah, Vader. He's I get you. Limited in the suit. Full powered Legends. Oh, wait, we skipped someone. No, no, no. I went over all those. Mm, Jedi Survivors updating. Hopefully, it runs smoother. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. But I mean, I didn't have any issues really. I had like two glitches. That was it. Yeah. Jody Mila Margo, who's your soupap? Yeah, so Margot Robbie is rumored to be Sue Storm, Reed Richards' wife, or maybe it's Jody Cormer. And honestly, I like both of them. I like wow. Jody Cormer a little bit more, actually. Yo, guys from Australia, when do you think Cal will show up in live action? Ahsoka, maybe? Dave Filoni's movie? Ray's movie as an old gray Jedi? I think he'll show up once his third game is done. Yeah, I would probably agree. Yeah, it seems like they're doing some pretty wild stuff in those games, so. Yeah. Hey guys, from oh wait, no, we already read that. What do you guys think about the Galactic Menagerie? Galactic Menagerie. What? What's that? I have no idea. Menagerie. Well, like Boba Fett 
and uh, Fennec and Black Chrysanthemum. I don't, I don't know. Live doing. wild animals. Oh, like a zoo? Well, I mean, yeah, that'd be kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. The fourth lore guy is so annoying. You're the man theory. Who's that? The fourth lore guy. I don't know. Is this a Twitter thing? Is that somebody that was beefing with you or something? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the fourth lore guy. Okay. Darth Dangs says, love you both your contact. Keep keep it up there, fellas. Hey, thanks, brother. Thanks, Darth. Listen to WDW Pro Video. They mentioned you, Theory. I am not familiar with them. But cool. Star Wars Oddball says, What's up, guys? Celebrating my birthday tomorrow. I'm going to Galaxy's Edge and Star Wars night later that day. Super pumped. May the force be with you. Hell yeah, man. That sounds awesome. Happy birthday, bro. That's fun. Happy birthday, man. What's up, Connor? What's up, First Sons? Not a member on both y'all's channels. Now a member on both y'all's channels. Loving Sorry. the gaming streams. What's good, Josh? To theory, they all hate you, man. <laughs> Much love from Van Island. Much love, man. Yeah, that's awesome. My neighbor. Jonathan says, y'all see that Katie Sackoff interview? I'm in the 2%. Did you see that? Yeah, that's funny. She said, like, yeah, yeah, that shit was funny. 2% want me to sit on their face. Yeah. Yeah, she's probably yeah. right. Yeah, that's funny. Yep. Josh Theory, don't worry about the death threats. I'm a victim of old school gun violence in 2019 and almost beat death at the Chiefs game in 2022. You both helped me out a lot. I love Star Wars and thanks. That sounds wild, bro. Keep it's your horrible. head down out there. Holy shit. Horrible. Oh, you're Roger, almost okay. beat to death? God damn, Nick. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, you know, I just stick to myself. I don't... Yeah. It's just not worth it, man. You never know. Someone might be absolutely mental and just like... Mm -hmm. Like someone um, just passed away. They were at Starbucks and they just uh, downtown. And they told yeah, the guy to like dude. stop doing something and then the dude just shanked him. Yeah, the world is very weird right now. And I think one of the best things you can do is just try to be very aware, right? So if you are just aware of what's going on and don't put yourself in a vulnerable situation, uh, that's probably one of the best ways to avoid conflict, right? Um, so, yeah, but it's a weird world, man. Try to mitigate that risk for sure. Mm -hmm. Did the galaxy know that Palp was force sensitive, or did it just assume he was a power hungry, insane man? Oh, well, they thought no. he was the best, dude. No, most of the galaxy didn't know. Yeah, most of the galaxy thought he was he was awesome. Yeah, and then maybe towards the end, they were like, "This dude's not doing a great job." <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, why are people spamming two percent? Uh, that's a good reason. <laughs> did you see Anakin has two lightsabers in Fortnite? What's the second one? I didn't see that. Oh, it's probably just a design error. If my man yelled at me like that for a protein mm -hmm. shake, I would get it for him because he deserves the best. Oh, thanks, babe. You should yell for a protein shake. I should actually, but I'm I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm good. I'm actually trying to lose a little bit of weight. I'm trying to do more cardio and cut the calories mm. before I get back into bulking. I, I've been experimenting with like I think when you hold like just like some extra fat. It like hurts your ability to like actually work out harder. You know what I mean? So I'm trying well, to like if you're natty. Yeah. yeah. Your what chest is yeah. being converted to estrogen. Yeah, in the fat. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to slim down a little bit before I because I, I feel pretty good with the progress I've made this year, but I wanna I wanna slim down a little bit and then get back into really pushing hypertrophy. But that's a good idea. It gets your hormones <laughs> being overweight, it puts your hormones out of whack. Oh, it's horrible for you, dude. Yeah. It is it is literally like a death sentence uh for you for sure. Yeah. Derek says when Adam Driver said he wants everybody to forget that he played Kylo Ren, I honestly can't blame him. What are you guys' thoughts about it? Yeah, we read that article. That's not what he said. <laughs> you know what mm. I mean? Like yeah, we, I know we, yeah. <laughs> that's not at all what he said. So no. sorry. We we covered that. It's it was um that was a clickbait article. Yeah, yeah. And I remember reading it and we were both like Pfft. Yeah, yeah, that shit. Yeah. 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 Spews for views, baby. How yeah. does Star Wars explain still? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Thanks, Simple Jack. Thanks. <laughs> you, m -m -m make me happy. You, 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 get, get, get me canceled. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Digital Knight says, Who do Jedi, or why do Jedi always have to take Big L? <laughs> uh... Because they're so goddamn uh, narrow minded. Yeah. It's, yeah. If 
What is it to understand? Oh, do I have the clip? No, I don't have the clip. What is it to understand all aspects of the force? Wow, what do you say? Yeah, what, what does he say? Larger all, view. yeah, all of its aspects, not the narrow, dog-minded view of the Jedi. Yeah, Bro just spoiled the whole game. Cal Kestis is so clu- cool, man. I, w- I hope we get a show of him based on clapping Jesus. Oh, yeah. So that happens. Hmm? Oh, really? Good thing I missed it. Uh. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, no, I actually did hear about that. Uh, tired of these losers on Twitter saying theory ain't this, theory ain't that. You know he'd be hanging with little Joshy and dip force is I test. It. I love Hell it. Yeah, I bro. Love it. Yes, Ray. That's the new one. It's the Tell new me. one. Put a ring on it now. She's a keeper for sure. Rick, the door <laughs> technician, was the hardest boss, to be honest. Yeah, dude, when you get to Rick, the door technician, it's actually impossible. I saw that shit on Twitter. It was funny. Uh, do you think these shows should be movies instead? Also, who wins between sumo wrestler fighting between Jabba and Lizzo? I'd probably have to say Jabba. He's pretty big, dude. And he's also strong. Jabba because he's slimy. Mm. Jabba Can't get a good grip. eat Lizzo, bro. Just like, eat her. Disney hates Luke. All the new movies and shows are female-led. Visions 2 has a female-led in every episode. Is that true? Disney needs to quit it? premiering the 2 a.m. to get more views they didn't even promote return of the jedi yeah they didn't really promote it too much huh no i didn't even know about it because on the social media told me hmm. sorry after i spoiled survivor people are unsubbing yeah no, they'll they sub are. back and if they yeah. don't well sorry yeah sorry is what mom. it is you may have won this time but i will spin back it says rick the door <laughs> <laughs> you know cow clapping both Marin's cheeks 100 percent why are they making Vader weak? Why was uh, Siri able to make Vader limp away? I didn't see that. Stupid. So that stupid. seems lame. So stupid, dude. I I'm like, they did some shit like that. Yeah, that's yeah. So, so sad because they treat him so good. Dude, in the he's first game. messed up. He's like on fire and like he's like. <gasps> and she did it to him. Yeah, she did it to him. And his like hand what? Is, like, like brushing the wall to like find balance, like <gasps> and walks so he, away. So he doesn't just like bitch smack her. Like, how does she? No, it was so stupid, dude. I was just like happy to be done with the dumb mission. I'm like, uh, let's move on. And then, and then I'm like, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense during the live stream. And then some people were like, she's a Jedi Master. I'm like, you know who else is a Jedi Master? Jedi Master Sindrelig. Oh, I don't know all the other Jedi Masters that Anakin killed during the temple in Order 66. They were Bro, all it's just powerful Jedi rules. Masters, too. Vader cleans. Like, that's just what it is, which oh I, they respected God. a lot in the first game, right? So what? Uh, huh? <laughs> it's just... That's wild, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That is wild. Just dumb. Top Not five best. strongest Jedi movies and games. Probably like Vader, then uh, Sam Witwer, homie. Then... Uh, Luke, uh, maybe Mace and Obi Wan. Top five strongest Jedi movie and games: uh, <laughs> Star Killer, Luke, Anakin, uh, Vader. Yeah, yeah, seems right. Palpatine seems right. Uh, like we, well, we could say Nihilus too. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Nihilus. Alcorn, yeah. yeah, yeah. They hate the competent male characters theory. I don't know. Cal seems pretty competent. Yeah. Would Would you rather Disney keep using old characters and ruining them, or create new stories around new characters? Yeah, but see, when they create new characters around the old ones, uh, they tend to really regress the old characters. Yeah, to make their character look like they're forward, which sucks. Yeah, it's like that's like so, great storytelling. Yeah, maybe they could just not do that. That'd be kind of wild. Maybe you could just progress both characters. Yeah, and then have you know like a handing of the baton. Yeah, that'd be cool. Much love, Jedi Survivor is fire. Favorite outfit in the game? Yeah, what are you rocking, man? Oh, the one that I just got. Um, I think it was last night. Uh, it's like the black Jedi robe. That's cool. 
Yeah, I have like this white outfit with like shoulder pads and like this blue cape. I was like, that's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, that one. I made that one yeah. look like Boba Fett. Oh, dude, that's sick. Yeah, I like that one. So, and then I made his help Boba Fett inspired. Oh, shit. Nice, dude. Yeah. If Hamill nice. the last shit I script and then left. Yeah, I wish. Mm, I wonder if he signed before he saw the script. I think he signed before. He signed yeah, for probably. a trilogy. Yeah. Well, yeah, because remember, he said there were two things that he needed. He said he would only come back in shape. Eat. Well, no, but he said he didn't want to just be cameos. So he wanted to have a run through the trilogy, like an actual story. Right. And he wanted it to be in every single one. And they totally yeah. went back on that. It sucks. Yep. And they said they didn't they didn't tell him much for the episode seven. They just made him get in shape. And all he had was just a cameo. Oh yeah, it sucked, dude. <sighs> yeah. You think Din was supposed to keep the dark saber in another script? And that's why given Bo the saber was kind of rushed and lame. I don't know. I mean, dude, it's just rushed and lame, like either way. I, I don't know what the answer is. Like, John's usually a pretty good writer, so I'm confused. Been a trying week, been an out of the hospital the past week, but I'm trying my best to keep my head up and watching you two is deaf helping at the moment. Thanks, Expo City. We hope you're uh, we hope you're okay, man. Yeah, man. Stay well. Try to be positive if you can. Well. Nick says, what's up, y'all? I think Mando was a safe recovery from Boba season to get us ready for the insanity that Ahsoka is going to bring. I think Ahsoka is going to have a lot of draw-dropping what-the-fuck moments. I agree, Nick. I agree, man. And hopefully it does for the fan base's sake. Yeah. For your sake. For your sake. Uh, be yeah. down to see you two play FN with Rob, their biggest Star Wars drop of Fortnite. Four skins and added force abilities. What prequel characters are you making it? Yeah, there's still some mystery of like what the skins are going to be. So I don't know. I'm I'm kind of excited. It's going to be fun. Chat, should I should I stream that? Is it tomorrow? You said? I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, pretty sure. Tomorrow night. Ah, uh, it's I don't know. It might even drop tonight at midnight. Technically, I'm not sure. What? Yeah, yeah. Love all of Filoni's work, but scared he is becoming a yes man to KK. I hope not. Yeah, I would oh. hope not to. Oh, there we go. Flight. I think Josh would look amazing with tattoos, but wouldn't want to pressure him. If he had to pick a sleeve theme, I would go with Samurai Anime. Ooh. I like Samurai Champ Blue. I could put like a lot of my favorite anime protagonists or something. That would be kind of sick. You like Samurai what? Samurai Champ Blue. It's probably my, okay. one of my favorite animes. There's a guy in LA who does really good stuff. Um, you might want to check him out, Josh. Uh mm -hmm. Shoot me his, his name is Nick. Nick Limps. Yeah, Nick Limps. Nick Limps. Yeah, he's really good, man. Let me show you some of his uh, his anime stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me, show me, show me. Oh yeah, I like that. Damn, very good shading. Yeah, I don't know who any of these characters are, but he does some Dragon Ball stuff too. That's sick, dude. Yeah. Oh, wow. A little like chibi, like Wind Waker style. <clears throat> Zelda. That's cool. What's an anime you like? Like, I mean, his Dragon Ball stuff is really good, too. Oh, hell yeah. That's sick. Yeah, yeah I like that Black Clover anime. Uh, the original Akira is pretty sick. A lot of good anime, dude. I, after this one, I think we might try out Jujutsu Kaisen. I've heard a lot of good stuff about that. Um... There's an anime dropping. Oh, it's actually not coming out until next year called Solo Leveling. And my buddy, who's like an anime nut, said it's the his favorite manga he's ever read. So I'm pretty excited. That's like high praise coming from him. So Do you I'm like Itachi? I don't think I've ever seen Itachi. Uh, I like a lot of the Ghibli stuff, but I don't know if I would get a Ghibli know, wait, what tattoo. Is this? this is, is this Titans? Um, Titan, Titan, something. Oh, yeah, that's Attack on Titan. Yeah, Titan, that shit is sick looking. Yeah. Yeah. I like tattoos, man. They're cool. Yeah. What One the hell? piece. Yeah, dude. Chainsaw Man is fantastic, too. Weird. When did uh, Deadpool have four eyes? 
don't know. There could be some like, like Else World a... or like Spider Island, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. You should get this. <laughs> Just a squirrel like that? That would be kind of funny. That's kind of funny, dude. <laughs> Just like a random ass squirrel. Get it on my left ass cheek, bro. <laughs> yeah. Just a random yeah, squirrel. You could. Um, have you all read the Corellia trilogy legends? No. Anime no. nerd theory coming soon and watching you two play Jedi Survivor was nerve wracking. Keep training, please. Oh, how dare you? You don't say that. I think you missed my ten dollar super chat earlier. Sorry. No, no, we, we got ready. Uh, because I remember I couldn't pronounce your name. Joey says, "Hate the time the shows release. Drop them early in the evening, like HBO prime time show, and not three a.m. Yeah, uh, it really kills the anticipation." <clears throat> yeah, I agree. I why wouldn't they just change that? It seems like I don't know. Back. <sighs> Damn, theory goes to the bathroom. Right on my question. Would like to know his opinion. I'm enjoying Jonas Survivor watching theory play. I'm on part two. Oh, what was this question? I don't know. He should have just put it into this chat, Yuri. Or if you want one of us to read it, just say, um, like, Josh, re like, please, Josh, read or theory read or something like that. Yeah, just throw it in the chat chat. Yeah. You can put, like, T mm. or, or J. Mm. Lawrence says, how's your back after 10 hours of gaming? Was epic. Feel good. Nice. That's Feel good. good. I, I'm, I think I'm made to stream, man. Like, I wish I could do that for, like, full time. Be great. Go. There you go. Maybe it'll uh, start popping off. You know, just keep keep at it. Well, I mean, it it does, but I just feel like it would be tough to do the channel in full time stream. To be honest, you know, I could make videos every day like I do, but I could also stream like two to four hours a day every day. Mm -hmm. Well, you look at some of the big streamers. Like Doc only streams three times a week. You know, That's sometimes it? more, but yeah, but if he's streaming, I thought like he streamed every day, five to eight, Saturday and Sunday. No, he used to stream a lot more, but uh, no, he only streams like three days a week now, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And it's crazy because like he just does uh, members only chat. Not all and... the time, but yeah, he'll throw it into members only. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's going to go over like kick or something else. I don't know. They'd have to offer him substantial money. But uh, yeah, it's always an option. I feel like he's getting pretty grounded on YouTube here. What do you mean? Like, like, he's, like he's pretty established now on YouTube. Like people yeah, recognize yeah. He's... Uh, yeah, I think he's doing pretty well on YouTube. Uh, the only thing for him is like a little bit of like sponsorship weirdness. But I think he's been able to kind of like recoup that a little bit. Like on last Wednesday, him and Tim did a sponsored stream for dead island 2 mm. and i'm sure they got major bucks to like do that um but he's also like developing his own video game right so he's kind of like he's doing stuff outside of streaming that i think he's really passionate about so good do you think he got sponsored by ea for survivor no no, I don't think so. Because I I just never heard him say like it was a sponsored stream or whatever. Hmm. So. Just want to send a heartfelt thank you to everyone sending in super spoiling Survivor after the game's been out for four days. I hope you all stub your toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. It'll still be fun though, Matt. It'll still have fun. Damn. You'll still have a great time, man. Benjamin says, happy Monday. Hope you both are doing great. Well, thank you, Benji. That's nice, man. <laughs> That's probably so pissed, dude. I'd be pissed. <laughs> I stayed, me. dude. I stayed away from every sort of spoiler that I could. Yeah, that's why I finished the game as fast as I could because I'm like, I want to go into this just like with my own, like, whoa, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah true, 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 true. Mm, it's a tough one, I guess. Huh? Oh well. Happy Monday. Hope you're both doing great. Thanks, Benjamin. Damon is risky for a Star Wars. His stuff can be next level. Yeah, he's a little controversial for sure, but. uh I, I would have loved to see what he did, man. Von Rom says, I have a bad feeling Ray will be the world between worlds and go back and become the first Jedi. Also, Jedi Order, she starts in the first some KK shit. Yeah, that would be wild, bro. Oh, who's going to be the one to break the chat revenue? Who's going to be the one? Who's going to be the one to break it? I got to use the restroom. I'll be right okay. back. Okay. Josh was thinking about your. Oh, I guess I'll save that for him. 
Oh, wait, what was the thing about your Peter Jackson wish for Star Wars? What era would you want him to do, and who would star? I think Old Republic would be sweet. Okay, we'll wait for him to answer that. Can you do a giveaway right now for a deluxe copy of Survivor on me? No, we'll do it in another stream for um, Fallen or for Survivor. Yeah. But also, you know, Josh and I split these super chats, so that's not going to go directly just to me. So, Benjamin, sorry. But, yeah, we'll do it more in some more streams. I still got to do the bounty quests. I still have to do a lot of the other side missions you guys are telling me about. And then we got to do, do New Game Plus because you said there's like a rainbow saber, which looks like that's kind of cool. <laughs> It's like the ones in the uh, the uh, NeoPixel savers. What's up, Soy? Oh. Oh, where was I? There we go. Vader 2 can't come soon enough. Yeah, we're working on it, man. I'm really excited. I think about it every day, every night. I really like the storyline of the cinematics for the Old Republic game. Seeing something like that being adapted would be cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was really excited for the Old Republic game to be redone, but I don't know. I don't know what's happened with that. Got to see Return of the Jedi in theaters yesterday with my partner. It was amazing to hear clapping at the beginning and the end of the film, as well as when Darth Vader throws the Emperor off the shaft. Dude, you just spoiled it for me. Brought tears to my eyes. Yeah, it must be amazing to see the original trilogy in theaters. <coughs> I've never experienced that. Which one? The original trilogy. Um, someone asked you a question. There you go, Dylan. Yeah, Josh was thinking about your Peter Jackson wish for Star Wars. What era would you want to see him do? Yeah, Old Republic would be perfect, Dylan, because you know when you think of Peter Jackson, you usually think of the Lord of the Rings trilogy and that medieval, you know, kind of idea and like Weta. Oh, dude, the idea of like Weta and ILM teaming up to do Old Republic effects—it's very appealing. So that's probably the way I'd go. You know, when I walked into the office, Luke was out there with a toy in his mouth, and he looked so sad, dude. He was like, play with me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude, he looked pretty sad. Is Leia doing better now? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, she's doing better. She's calmed down a little bit. And we're just kind of, like, watching her a little bit more, you know? Okay. Did but, she get yeah. spayed? Not yet. We're still waiting. There's, like, a huge wait list around in a lot of the oh, vets. Wow. Dude, so how about she escaped from the yard on both sides of the fence? She escaped on the one side and went into the one neighbor's yard and we were like, holy shit, and like grabbed her and like I patched it all up and, you know, like uh, filled the hole. And then today I see her in the other neighbor's yard. Yeah, she's wild, bro. She's crazy. My 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 boy is growing way too fast. Yeah. How big is he now? 70 pounds. What? He's four months old. 70 pounds? <laughs> My God, bro. That's like if you put dude. my dogs together. I know. It's dude, my husky. She's like three and a half years old. She's like 60 pounds at most. Yeah, that's wild, dude. It's a lot I of know. pounds for a doggy. It's a big yeah. old doggy, but. Yeah. He's just like a big chode walking around. <laughs> She's a chonker, huh? Um, currently reading the High Republic books and gotta say they are really good, but I'm scared for Acolyte being a dud and leaving a sour taste in fans mouths for the high republic yeah that would be unfortunate i mean i hope i hope it's good hope it's good Chat, do you think I should read should i read the high republic i wonder if there's like a good list of like basic stuff to read because it's like you can't read all that stuff right because they i don't know how many books but there's like a ton of comics and all this other stuff so i wonder if there's like or did somebody have a good video that's just like explains it all you know maybe um josh don't don't trust me okay hmm? don't trust me oh okay gotcha because caps hockey crazy 08 says nobody trusts Star Wars theory he's a snake please okay just beware okay i got you i'll, I'll write it down write it down oh shit yeah uh better be careful better be careful basilisk time basilisk dude you are slithering <laughs> you are slithering <laughs> I saw Return of the Jedi in theaters twice, and it was dope, especially the audience reaction and cheering. Also been playing Survivor the second it dropped at midnight. and just finished it today. What a great game and one of the best Star Wars in years. Well, that sounds like you're having a hell of an awesome Star Wars time, man. Seeing that in theaters, playing this dope game. Good for you, bro. Yeah. Good yeah, it's definitely a, more of a original story. 
It was good. Did you Sick. read Spicy Dorwat? Spicy Dorwat? No, I don't think I did, actually. Concerning awkward writing, still furious that the two-year time jump that they pulled straight out of their ass in Book of Boba Fett was clearly improvised. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. yeah, that was on the fly. Yeah, it For was. sure. Vader is the owner of the dark saber because Maul was defeated by Sidious when faced Maul on S and Savage on Mandalore, and Vader threw Palpatine down a pipe at the end of Return of the Jedi. Yeah, I always hated this line of logic, but then they made some bullshit like that canon, so I can't even argue with you. So yeah, definitely, Vader should be. Uh, Vader should be the cutest cat the owner I've of ever the dark seen in my saber. Life. Hey, what's up, pussycat? This is George. What's up, Georgie? How you doing? George. How you doing? Is he a chill, chill cat? He's very sweet. He's very, very calm. Sweet. Yeah, he's very calm. That's good. Yeah, I think he might be like a little bit slow. Uh, yeah. That can be. Yeah. That can be fine. You know what I mean. No, he's very he's very sweet, but I think he's a little bit slow. Yeah. But he's he's very like I think that just makes him more loving and like more just kind. He's just very yeah. gentle and very like Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I love him. He's very, very cute. Oh, hey buddy. He just jumped on the chair. Hey buddy. I love him so much. Uh, Vader's the owner of the Darksaber because Maul was defeated by Sidious when he faced Maul and Savage on Mandalore and Vader threw Palpatine down the pipe. Yeah, but then it belongs to Rey. Oh, shit! Because Rey right. defeated Luke and, and she Palpatine. defeated Palpatine. Rey is the rightful owner of the Darksaber, guys. Rey is the Maybe that's owner. what the movie's about. Maybe. I am Mandalore. Oh, God. I am all the Mandalorians. Uh, Boba Wet says, me and the homie taking leave for Japan at Celebration... Uh, gonna go as Boba and Mando. Be there or be square, nerds. Specifically, you two. Yeah, dude, that would be sick, dude. Uh, I think we'll both be able to go. You know, it's two years away, so it's kind of it's hard to know for sure. But but uh, I would yeah, love yeah. to go, man. Japan go. sounds lit. Yeah, my my dream would be to dress up as as Anakin, just be like in the robe, and then have like a whole legion of clone troopers behind me. Oh hell yeah! And just yeah. walk the floor. I think that'd be really cool. That'd be fire. That'd be <laughs> badass for sure. Yeah. It'd be sweet or we could have like all the anakin cosplayers all of us together just marching and just a whole bunch of clones behind us that'd be sick dude that'd be cool i want to see a picture of you surrounded by a bunch of rays and you just being super triggered jesus i'd be in heaven <laughs> <laughs> there you go uh let's see here lee says i completely forgot I was going to type, so I'm just going to leave you with this. Cheesecake Kit Kats are the pathway to the mm. dark side. I didn't even know that was a thing, but that sounds kind of lit, dude. Cheesecake Thanks, Kit Kats? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Scarlet, which says, I have a slow cat, too, and he's very sweet. Yeah. Right. Like, how do you know for sure if they're slow? I just think. You know. Like, because yeah. we got the other cat, Bean, and he's, like, freaking sharp. Quick, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but like George's little sweetie. <sighs> Hi, Theory and Josh. Theory still playing guitar? No, I haven't given it enough time, man. I I gotta. I really want to focus on it again, but you know, I just haven't. Yeah, it's tough. You, you pick it up still a little and play here and there. Times here and there, but yeah. but not not enough. Not like practicing, just kind of like no, no. Yeah, yeah I used to. Yeah. Psycho says, here's five dollar for Vader 2 and great content. You gonna do more fan fiction and fantasy battles since Star Wars media will be slow for a bit until Ahsoka? Yeah, those are my favorite times actually. Well, they're both fun, but when Star Wars gets slow, I get to go back and just be creative because it's like sure, there's nothing I'm really any show or hype to go off of, so it's just purely you know, whatever I like. I'm gonna go back to the old comics, I'm gonna go back to fan fictions, like it's just a lot of fun stuff to go to go into like the bonus DVDs, summer stuff. I call it summer stuff because there isn't much stuff in the summer sometimes, except for last yeah. year. Yeah, makes sense. Look up Star Wars makes Galactic Menagerie on YouTube. I don't know what that is. Star Wars Galactic Menagerie. Would you guys like to see Filoni tie in Carnor, Jax, and Lumia? Yeah, I want to see Lumia. I know they're legends, but they could tie them in if they wanted to with air coming out maybe. Yeah. 
Lumia was uh, Vader's secret apprentice. Oh, yeah? She was pretty hot. <sighs> That's in Legends? She's pretty hot. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Hmm. About to, ha about to house 150 milligrams to be the force to be with y'all? All right, Shadow. You're going to have a really good time until you fall right asleep. Is that a lot? I think that's a lot, yeah. What is, what is this? <laughs> what like what is that? That's probably THC. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I think even doing like forty milligrams is a lot. So I think this dude's about to leave the planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. The voice actor for Bode and Jedi Survivor is same one that plays Rampart on Bad Batch. Watch the Bounty Seasons. When's oh, the Bounty that's Mission sick. Stream? Bounty mission stream will probably start tomorrow night. So there's a bunch of side missions too, huh? Yeah. There's like okay. freaking okay. 15 bounty hunters you have to find and like kill. And then apparently there's like a massive cameo at the end of it. I don't know who it is though. Yeah, that's I yeah, that's cool. People are arguing about the milligram thing. I'm pretty sure that's a lot, guys. Like some of you guys are like trying to say it's not. Oh, pretty. Um, <laughs> PB pretty Jason, dude sure. about to go to the new beyond. Yeah, no, he is gonna be in the new beyond. Okay, wait, let's see here. Uh Lucasfilm, if you want to do lightsaber duels better, just look at Obi-Wan versus Maul right after Qui-Gon was defeated as a prime yep. example. Yeah, that fight is dope. Yep. That fight is dope. Would you prefer the old characters being live action or animated? Um, both are good, dude. Both are good. I like both. Animated has a special feel to it. It does. It does. Yeah. yeah. Which is I, why I'm excited for Visions. I think I do like it does have that kind of special vibe for sure. I heard rumors that Saul Goodman is a Sith Lord. He might be. I just finished Fallen Order today. I enjoyed it, and I think Cal's story is the best thing going for Star Wars right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it definitely is a very interesting, compelling story. <laughs> Somebody what? said Yoda was on 400 milligrams regularly. That's probably why I couldn't talk right, dude. <laughs> Explains <laughs> everything, dude. <laughs> uh, let's see. Kenobi final Vader fight in the show, or uh, what's a how do I say that? Seer, oh, Seer. Uh, who you got? Oh, dude, Seer's the best, dude. Seer and Reva, clearly. Kenobi final Vader fight. The Kenobi final Vader fight was way. I yeah, I didn't like the Seer stuff, man. I never liked Seer Junda. I just felt like she was really a know it all and. Like, she, I just didn't think she had any authority to, like, talk to Cal the way yeah. she did. She's a little sus. She, yeah, because she messed up so many times and, like, mm -hmm. literally drove her own apprentice to the dark side. Like, mm -hmm. Obi-Wan did. Like, Obi-Wan failed. Yep. He did fail. If it was yeah, Qui-Gon Jinn, I don't think he would have failed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The council failed know. Anakin, too. Let him know. Embrace the darkness theory. Death by cutscene. Oh, God. I think the reason why Vader had a hard time with Sears because he was underestimating her from the time of their first fight from Fallen Order. Sounds like copium, bro. No. That sounds like 400 milligrams of copium right there. Yeah. There, there's a... Yeah. No. Mm -mm. That's I don't want to talk too much because then it gives away spoilers. Mm -mm. Everyone is taking it uh too seriously his robotic parts were damaged easily and considering only cutscenes are canon all she did was throw a burning shelf on him and force pushed him into a wall i mean i haven't seen it i'm not at this part in the game but it sounds like some bullshit you want me to show you i mean can you pull it up yeah i'll bring, bring my own stream uh, okay okay am i gonna freak out no. Am I going to be like, uh, what the F? Flip a desk. I think I might. Uh 
<clears throat> Chat, there's going to be spoilers here, so if you don't want them, uh, I would suggest to peace out. Get the fuck out of here. Oh no. Oh no. Got the new members. It's gone. So, now. Coming through the door. Visitors, shut your fuck. <laughs> no. Shut your face. It's been a while. I was hoping you drowned on Noor when we blew a hole in your underwater base. It is delusion to think your actions have had any consequence. Oh, the let her know. Yeah. The Inquisitorius continues its work. And I have come for you. What? I've been waiting. Yeah. Yeah, no no chance here. Sorry. Not today. So you Thank play a seer in this part. Okay, that's kind of yeah. cool. Notorious continue. Notorious. I ain't even mad. <laughs> yeah, I died pretty tight. So many times. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. There we go. You have grown stronger. No. I've only let go of my fear. We shall see. <laughs> it's really well choreographed, though. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. Don't even worry about it. What do you think about this? I don't like that. What do you think about that? Like, you know what that should have no, turned I, into? I got I got holding up all that shit. Yeah, with one I hand know. And I know. Then throwing the saber and cutting her in half. That's I probably know. how that should end. I it? know. Now's the time. I got to show you how it ends. And... What he what he looks like. Yes, I called it, dude. See, I know Bader's moves. Oh, sick. I love the lava Vader, man. Yeah, he didn't like that. He didn't like that. Love the lava fire Vader. That's yeah, wild. that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh shit! And then the ending is uh, right, like. And so he, she does like even more damage to him. Yeah, basically. What the freak? <laughs> Dude, so this was like after probably an hour and a half. Damn! Finally. What? What? <laughs> no. Yeah. All right. No goddamn way, bro. Look! Look! Look at this, dude. Look at this. This is so stupid. <gasps> No Whoa. fucking way, bro. Yeah, his cybernetics are really struggling to walk there. Get out of here with that crap. That's it. She dies? There or no? She dead. How did she die? Just she from dead, fighting bro. him? She dead. I'm sorry. That seems <laughs> stupid, bro. There's, that's stupid for sure. <laughs> so dumb. Like, how can they do that? I don't know. But hey, it's just because you hate women, okay? I guess. Jesus. 
<sighs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. I know. Okay. okay. I know. <sighs> All right. Okay. Moving on. Yep. So you think it's stupid too, right? Oh, dude, that is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> fucking horrible bro like i'm sorry like just that shot of her staring at him and he's like bitch boy just like high school just got whooped by the bullies and crawls away fuck that i would have like as soon as i got like those notes when i look at that scene i'd be like all right stand up and get the fuck out of this room like i would be freaking out dude that's ridiculous like, so stupid no but if you way. say it's stupid then you're sexist and you're an, you're you're an estinophobe jesus <sighs> Jesus. Well, I guess they got kind of got us in a box there, don't they? They sure do. <laughs> Rick Thor technician is goaded. No promotion of Star Wars or Disney websites or Twitter accounts for Return of the Jedi or Carrie Fisher's five of four star on Walk of Fame. No happy beat a James Earl Jones. KK's contempt for George Lucas and longtime Star Wars fans. It's disgusting. Yeah, so it's either uh, just total out of touch or it is like an agenda. And I think the truth is the real sin is that they've never addressed this or they're not trying to make it better. They just don't care. So they, yeah, kind of sucks. Let me address Gianni. Uh, nobody said anything about sexist theory you're projecting. No, Gianni. Um, if you've lived in my shoes for the last seven years online, anytime you say that you think something is off about a female character... Good yeah, luck, dude, man. Sure. Rest in peace. Yeah, dude. Uh, trust me. <laughs> it's it's, it's um, going to happen. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just the way it is. Like, you can't dislike any character anymore. Because if you do, if, 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 if they're, if they're um, a person of color or if they are a, a woman, say goodbye. Because you are now an istinophobe. Yep. And they're going to get you. And... There's no way, dude. Vader would just destroy her. That is so crazy. The fact that he just like walks away like that. Ugh. Like, yeah. Gross. Dude. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, yo, guys, do you think Dooku would rather watch a tree go or a... No, don't say it. <laughs> close. That was very close. Did I save your ass? You did. Well, I actually put it together. Sorry towards cool. the end but yeah 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 all right, all right cool all right how can okay. mando season three take place two years later it took two years to realize moff gideon is gone major plot hole yeah the whole thing's doo-doo the whole thing is doo-doo yo by the way have you ever seen the clip where john campia gets uh with that exact same one he gets Oh, he said it? Dude, not only did he say it, it was somebody's username and he like is like, "Oh, I love that username." <laughs> like it was it's pretty funny. What? Yeah, dude, it was pretty Hold funny. Hold on, I got to find this. <laughs> dude, it is Hold on, good. I got to find this. <laughs> is there a clip of it? <laughs> For sure, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think I found it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Uh, uh. We needed to move into a studio because we shows this is going to be here. Wait, wait, wait. Is this it? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. That's, that's about something. Damn it. No, that's something else. That's something else. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. That'd be hilarious. Uh... <laughs> uh, as the creator of uh, Mara Jade, do you... wait! I am not the creator of Mara Jade. I, <laughs> I love this shit. Get out of this office right now. I'm sorry, Zen. No it's... way. You brought, no it on way. Your... you brought it on yourself. I don't want you here. I'm so Out. sorry, George. I didn't think it would go like this. Out. Then I got your voucher. Out! 
there. I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry. We'll have him like burned and well, I don't even know who that guy is. So I sit there all day long. Mm -hmm. Did you find it? Nah, dude. It's like wiped. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I found it. <laughs> oh my god! I Did found you? it. Dude. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, should we? Should we do it? Yeah. Well, why mean, not? All right. All right. All right. You brought it up. I want to all see right. this. No, you brought it up. I want to see. No, right, the, the dude see. did. Let's see here. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. I can't hear it. Wait, you didn't hear it? No, you gotta redo it. Oh shit. Okay. Wait, maybe it's for the best. If anyone wants to go watch it, you guys go watch it on your own. Yeah. It's so bad, dude. Yeah, he's well. literally goes he literally does it and then goes i love that name and then just like keeps going it's like oh, oh God, no dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. oh yikes yeah, yeah you can well, check it out yeah whatever it's the show thoughts on dave flowing saying luke wasn't a jedi what mm, i don't ever heard that this? i don't even think he did he might have said uh I think he said something like he was talking about, well, maybe at this point, Luke's not technically a Jedi Knight or something, or he's not a Jedi Master yet or something like that. Oh, but uh, I think it was, point. I don't remember. I feel like this happened like a while back, to be honest with you. He trained when he was young, and so did Luke. Yoda didn't confirm that he was a Jedi, remember? Mm -hmm. I need more context. Yeah, I don't um... <sighs> It should be la cast as Krillin in a live-action Dragon Ball Z movie. That'd be dope, dude. I get to marry Android 18. Oh, my God. Android 18 is hot. Dude, the, like, please, 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 please. I need Arrow says, please. she started Jedi Survivor, and I'm loving it so far, despite not playing Fallen Order. I'm excited to play uh, New Hope style right. second game first. Cheers. Yeah, that'll be cool. There you go, man. Glad you're having fun. Glad you're having a good time. A GT. FYI, uh, original trilogy, prequel trilogy, Star Wars Marathon in theater, Friday, May 26th, episode 4 to 6, Saturday, May 27th, episode 1 to 3. Fine Arts Theater in Beverly Hills. Wow, that sounds fun. Tickets 10 bucks per show at Fandango or Fine Arts Theater. Theater close. Ch theater chose to do this, not a Disney choice. Yeah, that's cool. You know what? Mm. Gives me an idea. Uh -oh. If I'm going to rent out a theater and have them do episode one to three, and I'm going to um, do like a fan meetup. That would be cool. That'd be cool, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be fun. Free. That would be fun. Oh, the Herman Miller Master. Nice, dude. Yeah. I want nice. to find one with the neck support. I think there's a Logitech one, but I've never sat in it, so I don't want to go ahead and spend that amount of money on a chair without... I've I've Trying bought every gaming chair, bro. Every mm -hmm. gaming chair. The Razor one. I got these Titan Omegas. I've got all the clutch chairs. I've had I literally had everything. Lazy Boy chairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that I got a Secret Lab. Is the best. This the Secret Lab is not bad. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, yeah. I bet the Herman Miller is pretty tight though. It's yeah. It just needs a headrest. And there's a Logitech collab one that, were, that has a headrest, but I just never sat in it, so I don't... And it's like two grand or something. Mm, yeah. But I mean, I'm sitting in it so much, so it's like it's... My, yeah, my I mean, you're paying for your... Up. You know, yeah. Yep. So it's planning tough, on doing a meetup job. at the George Lucas Museum? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that would be great, dude. When's that finally going to open, huh? I don't know. You want to do it together? Hell yeah, bro. We should definitely go. I wonder if he'll do like a grand opening tour. Oh, that'd be so sick, dude. That'd be great. He'd probably do like a speech. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Have you guys seen the video on YouTube about Darth Vader roasting Kylo Ren? If not, you should watch. Oh, I know. I've not seen this. No, nah, nah, I heard of it. That sounds fun, though. Is it like a deep fake or some shit? Um, maybe. For Josh, how far is Vader getting in Bleach? Thousand Year Blood War? Pfft. I don't know. He'd have to be top power. It would be tough, dude. It'd be tough. T now. 
that the DS is broken, how about Snoke's ring turns to be the DS crystal in the Filoniverse, and that's why there's no Mandos in the sequels? Yeah, so he's talking about the dark saber and maybe being the Snoke's ring. Kind of cool. Could be cool. You that, think the Mandos that, are around during the sequels? But there's already an explanation. Yeah, sure. But there's already an explanation for that ring. Well, I mean, like, yeah. it was in the book, so they could change it. Yeah, it was like the obsidian from Vader Lucifer, Castle, right? Yeah. yeah. But from yeah. below. Okay, yeah. So, and there's like time-changing properties below there, so. Mm-hmm. Who should play Darth Bane once time comes? You know, I could see uh The Rock, dude. No. <laughs> you know, I could actually see a shaved headed Jason Momoa. Yeah, I could see that. I could see uh uh who's the dude? Bane. Oh, uh Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yeah, Tom Hardy. Um I could see Chad, who could you see? I just feel like it has to be somebody jacked. Jacked to the gills. Yeah. Hmm. I hope they do ever they, they one day do, do that. That'd be cool. Yeah. If they do it, it'll be pretty fire. Would it be nice? It'll be very nice. Hey guys, love watching you guys. After rewatching the finale, I noticed Gideon never said his clones actually had the force, just the potential for it. No, Jesse, no, no. they had the force. I mean, the way he says it was so goddamn ridiculous. Imbued with the force. The force. They had the force. It's like, dude, calm down, bro. Phantom Menace, OB versus Maul, top three all time fight. Yes, yeah. Bro, I also love how his clones didn't have the mustache, too. Yeah. Like, like, is does he anybody shape taking them, this or? shit? Exactly. Like, is anybody taking this shit seriously? Like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? And, uh, sir, last but not least, uh, uh, um, um, beard specificity. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you want him to be able to grow a beard? Um, no, no, not on that one. Yeah, no, no. We need the shot to look exactly like me, and my new look is no mustache. So. Yeah, no beard. I'm feeling a certain cleansed. Feel Bro, my skin. I've already said this before, but I, I hope that what happened with that was that Giancarlo read the script and he literally said, I'm not growing out this fucking mustache. And they're like, what do you mean, Giancarlo? You had the mustache before. We need the mustache. And he's like, I'm in the shit for like five minutes with off the helmet. I'm not growing the goddamn mustache. And they were like, fuck it, bro. Let's just <laughs> like, let's just work with it. Probably because he's filming um, Vought, um, The Boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. It's probably around the same time, perhaps. I don't know. Yoda's cane literally had weed on the end he would munch on. Hannah dropped the gem from a Star Wars book on stream. It's too funny. It's actually legit. What? What? Yo, might have to look into that. That seems fun. What? Yeah, some seems of those books true. are so full of shit. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They just write in crap. Yeah. And then and then Dave Filoni just completely retcons them. I know. Dave's like, ah, I don't like it, so nope. Or doesn't you see Josh it. collab on a strength theory or what? Yeah, maybe yeah. someday. Yeah, if we're great. in a uh if we're in the same town or whatever, we could work out together. It'd be fun for sure. Yeah, that'd be great, man. Yeah. Yeah. Second son says, Why do you think I can chat here but not on Josh's? I don't know, brother. I'm still trying to figure that out, second son. He Have you ever had that happen private. before? He hates you. That's not true. Oh, have yeah, you ever had, had a, that before? I've had a like, lot of people. Yeah, I've had a lot of people be like, "Oh, why, why can't I like type?" And I'm like, "Dude, I, I don't know. I didn't block you." I went through the whole block list, and he's not on there. Maybe so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm gonna try to figure it out though, bro. I'll try. I think Peroxide's having a hard time here. He keeps sending us super chats, but then retracting it. <laughs> or it's like his son. He's yeah. not paying attention, and his son's like on yeah. the phone. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Santa. 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 He just likes the colors. And to be honest, I mean, low key, YouTube kind of made it to be gamified. So I'm sure you can't blame him. Vivian Lear Blair, Blair, Princess Leia talked about the scene where Obi Wan hides under the trench coat during the celebration. She said it was stupid. Yeah. Yeah. We've talked about that. Y'all know what? Y'all not following me on Twitter? I post a lot know, of extra right? stuff on there, man. Yeah. A lot, man, of, a lot of a lot of funny posts. If they make a third game, what you guys want to see? Well, obviously the progression of Cal uh, yeah, and the 100%. story. Um, maybe we can leave. Uh, oh, what's that? What's that? What was it called? What's that planet called? Psoriasis. What's it, what was it called? Psoriasis. What was it uh, called? I don't know. Pariah. Oh, yeah, something like that. I don't know, but what was it called? 
God damn it. You know when you study like something too hard and you forget? Yeah. It's like all those streams just blend together now. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I forget. I don't know the name, bro. You t- wasn't it like a T word? Tanapore. Tanapore. Tan- 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 maybe? <laughs> what the hell is it called? Tanalore? Tanalore? Was it psoriasis? I- psoriasis? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. They should just start naming planets after like medical Conditions. problems. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> be kind of funny. Darth be... Scrotus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I released some Darth Scrot merch. You guys, go check it out. Ah, uh, shit. Maybe third game. What do you want to see? Yeah. Um, what's up, Michael? The Zombies versus back. Revan versus Vader. Revan's pretty strong, dude. Mm. Like Revan literally gets so angry, he, like brings himself back to life at one point. So I don't know. Malchus is also pretty strong, but so is Vader, though. And like, ah, I'm Vader has too many limitations. Revan. Yeah, I mean, as we just saw, he fucking watch out for bookcases, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Kanan and Ezra literally dropped a walker on him just to call back to Rebels theory. Also, Ahsoka broke open his mask and damaged his cybernetics. Seer is a master and also more powerful than Ahsoka. Hell no! Hell you take that no! Back. Who, you take that who back. Who the hell said that crap? Who's... She's stronger than Ahsoka. Are you on crack? World? Are no you way, smoking bro. it? No way. Oh yeah, that's, that's one of the things that uh, what's her face and it got mad at me for because she said I said and or people are smoking crack. Did you ever say that? I don't think you did. Probably. <laughs> No, you probably made some comment about like just somebody like probably that. said some shit and you were like, yeah, dude, I think you're probably smoking crack or something like just off putting. Like yeah, that. literally. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, bro. Anyways. Um, yeah. Canon Ezra literally dropped a walker on him. Yeah. No. Fat naked. Jun- Chat, do you think do you think Seer Junda is stronger than Ahsoka? Yeah. In like the do five you? years that she had to train. It's from treason. Completely giving up. Mm -mm. oh man god damn this stupid battery it only made it to 237 that's crazy (laughs) you should be stabbed in the stomach well here we go time to pull out the janky webcam what's up brady yeah but your webcam's actually good it's actually legit yeah let's do a poll let's do a poll it's like this whole thing okay so good I think it has an H. I don't know. Sir Junda. I like something like that. What's up, Brady? Member for five months, man. How you doing? I gotta adjust. What's up, why? Uh white, straight, conservative males matter. Uh I would say every human on earth matters, man. Every living thing matters. I don't care if you're white. Black, purple, whatever. I don't care if you're a liberal McDonald's burger. Gay. I don't trans. I don't it doesn't matter to me, man. You're human. You're a goddamn human. You're a goddamn human. Yeah, it was. Every human is precious. A Crimson Empire film would be amazing with the success of Deadpool. Do you think a more mature Star Wars would work? No. Nope, and you don't need that either. No? No, I don't think you need a more mature Star Wars. That's what Andor is. That's part of the reason why I don't like it. <laughs> like, for real. I'm like, bro, I don't need that shit. Show me some adventures. What's this guy eating cereal for? Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's me watching Andor, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Uh... Uh, what are you guys' the top three characters arcs in Star Wars? The longer I think about it, the more crazy stories come to mind. I think mines are Anakin, Ahsoka, and R2. I think Rey has the best character arc in all of Star Wars. Um, the same with Rose Tico and yeah. and uh, probably um, Holdo. Dude, don't forget Finn, the Rey Screamer. Yeah, Finn has the best character arc. You know, he, Dude. He, he, yeah, was so heroic good. and and tried to fight Kylo Ren, even though he didn't know how to use a lightsaber. The way then, he doesn't do shit, and then yells at Ray all the all, time. It's always my Ray. <laughs> and, it gets, 
It's, it's my favorite, back. Dude. I know, dude. It's my favorite shit, bro. Like she's literally in midst of death battle. Mm-hmm. The last thing she needs is a distraction. Mm-hmm. Dude, always at the last second. Ray! I know, right? Ah! Yep. Dude, shut up. <laughs> dude, Reva what? has a great arc too, you know? Reva's got a great arc. Oh, it's incredible, dude. Reva has a great arc. Yeah, it's the, the arc of not dying. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. If only Qui Gon had learned. If only Qui Gon was actually as strong as Reva when she was a youngling and didn't know anything. Yeah, Star Wars I mean, would be much different. Yeah, you know, it'd be great. You know, uh, Anakin wouldn't have never executed Order 66. He would have executed Order 69, Padme all day, bro. You know what I mean? Maybe Qui Gon would be like, hey, look, like, uh, do your thing, but just keep it a secret. Yeah, Qui Gon probably would have, you know, give him some points. Or maybe he would have been like, look, just tell the council. I support you, man. Go, go live off and do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> if you just been like, you know, these Jedi are kind of fucking lame, bro. Let's get out of here. Let's let's go see the galaxy, man. <laughs> would have been kind of uh, cool. Oh, you got this one. 150 milligrams is kind of uh is a little bit wait, what? Is a little bit, my guy, not gonna lie. May the force be with you, you shadow Jedi. You're gonna need it more than us in a couple minutes someone check on my boy he's in the world between worlds now yeah that dude is in the world between worlds 100 percent, dude hey theory can you say how you got the imperial panels with the led lighting done behind your desk was wanting to grab was wanting to build something like that i was curious keep up the great work uh yeah so i had a friend make it for me that's it it's pretty lit yeah he just did it all himself he's got like schematics and everything online you can find him on google i think how to build um, Death Star panels. Nice. And then he just did it out of uh, like wood, I think. Plywood. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, the, the, the frame, I think, is wood. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. And this is wood, too. This is like a plywood. Yeah. Oh. Makes sense. And then it's a, a translucent... Um, Whatever, plexiglass, not plexiglass, something like that. I have a type and that's Marin down bad. Sure. Thank you. You're down bad? Damn, okay. You'll be all right, kid. You'll be all right, man. You don't want to talk about your Star Wars experience? Just not feeling it. Just not. It's not. She refuses to watch. Um, I showed her episode one to six. She is in love with them, but she oh, nice. refuses. She refuses to watch the Disney stuff. I'm like, just give it a shot. Maybe you like it. She's like, yeah. nope, nope. Yeah. I'm not watching. Elisa really doesn't like it either. Yeah, but yeah. who knows? Maybe the new Ray movie will turn everybody around. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe fucking not, bro. Who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> we gotta adjust this. Everyone's down bad for Marin now. I mean, what's up, she Arthur? Fine. She fine. Loving the emoji, bro. Yeah, that's loving cool. the loving the loving the DP too. Seer so looks oh. like a crackhead outside. <laughs> God damn, bro, it's fucked up. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Dude, what the? I don't know about that. I just think she shouldn't have beat Vader. Maybe there's a, <laughs> you know, we can find a little Maybe like. <laughs> They're going to be too harsh, man. Yeah, we don't have to go all that whole your way there. Yeah, we just insulted her mother now, too. I kind of just think Vader should have beat her. That's all. Um, I finished the big old long ass boy of a stream. You finished it, dude, Lord Kev? Damn, man. <laughs> That's crazy. There were some people there, like I said, that were there for the whole thing. 11 hours. That is pretty crazy. That is wild. wild for sure. Yeah. Scooby Snack, what's going on? I think Scooby Snack was one of them. Noise. Yeah. Crazy. Rose Tico. Hearts. Oh, shit. We got ourselves a Rose Tico fan. Can we, can we get some hearts in the chat for Rose Tico, please? Yeah. Andor is awesome. Screw you, haters. <laughs> we weren't even talking about Andor. Yeah, dude. What? Are, what? That came out of left These field. These guys are also... so weird. 
Pandora sucks. So sorry. It's yeah. like it's like oh yeah, you know my weekend was pretty good. Like I, I went went you know swimming with the kids and everything. Dude just comes in. Andor's a great show. Screw you and your kids. <laughs> That's like my whole life, bro. It's literally like around every corner of the internet, there's some mother trucker what? waiting to tell me how good Andor was of a what show. The fuck, did you come from, man? It's crazy, bro. Jesus, it's popping up alone. out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Weird. What are your <laughs> thoughts on the High Republic trilogy about the Force user who wrote the prophecy of the Anakin Skywalker? That would be actually kind of cool. Like the prophecy of the Chosen One. That'd be interesting. Um, yeah, that actually comes from the Dawn of the Jedi, the comics. Mm. Um, it's the issue where they're holding a or, or like a light orb ball. It's like all black and they're holding a light orb ball. And they actually I've seen that one, yeah. Yeah, I forgot it though. It's kind of cool. Yeah, but I'm to the holocron from the first game. Uh, didn't Cal destroy it? Yeah, Cal destroyed it, I'm pretty sure. Nicholas says, "Do y'all think we ever get a mall in, or more mall in live action? If so, what do y'all want to see? I don't know. It's hard to say, right? Like, I kind of feel like they might not. To be honest, I don't know. I I, I would hope so. He's one of my favorites. Yeah. Who's stronger in a pole dance, Seer or us? Jesus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, Ahsoka takes it all day." Let's see here. Besides Kylo, who's the best new character to come out of the sequels? Oh, uh, dude, Babu Frick. Avi. Avi. I'm out, mother. <laughs> Shit's classic, bro. Uh, what what's up, up, boys? boys? Hope y'all as well. Theory, hope to see more Survivor streams soon. Do all of the bounties for a special surprise. Yeah, that's We'll do. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, chat, what if we do that tonight? We could do that tonight. We, we could start tomorrow be fun it's a fun to go starting one piece wish me luck only 1k episode to go <laughs> yeah that is ridiculous but good luck do a clone Wars watch party an episode a day i would be down for this actually it might be you know a big journey but it'd be fun that would be a big journey only good Star Wars movies are the porn parody star wars sucks oh, okay right on jabba some say that star wars theory is still fighting vader no some say he's yeah. still fighting bode I think Same. that Bode fight took me two and a half hours. Really? Two hours or something. I don't know. Like, felt like it. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's called boss fights. They're not going to make it an easy fight. And Steer gets stabbed in the stomach at the end of the fight. Well, he's not really understanding anything. So, uh, Sexy pizza. You're well, that, just that tells wrong, you everything you need to know. Bro. Yeah, dude. You're just wrong, bro. That shit's disrespectful. I'm offended. I'm offended. Like, seriously, though, that is bullshit in my opinion. Oh, complete bullshit, dude. <laughs> yeah. Chat, what do you think? Oh, wait, hold on. Everyone said, dude, 91% of people say Holy it's still stronger than Seer Junda. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay, let's like, do another yeah. one. Let's do another one. Should Vader have been stronger against. Why is it, why is this? Oh, you did a Q&A thing. Yeah, what, did, what is a q and It's like a select... It's like you get... I think everybody gets to like put one message in. And oh, so really? it's a way to like isolate from the conversation to like get a specific... Just like no see way. specifically. I, I think so. I'm not sure. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Because it like um, pops up in a separate window, just like a poll. Oh, I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. You got Matthew? Hmm? Yeah. Ezra got Ezra and Cal collide, both running from the Empire. Both pull out their lightsabers with full intent to battle. Eyes lock, blue blades, sigh of relief, and turn to the Empire. Possible meeting. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess they would both be kind of older guys. Unless Ezra's um, falling to the dark side now. Yeah, that'd be dub. Aubers says, all I ask from Survivor is a Marin and Cal clapping scene, but they couldn't even do that. Also, Ubisoft makes the open world Star Wars game like Breath of the Wild. Uh, yeah, that would be cool if they did that. <laughs> you sick bastards. Legend State Theory is still fighting the final boss in Jedi Survivor. 
Correction Seer looks like crackhead Dave Chappelle. Jesus, dude. Jesus. Jesus. What was his name? Tyrone Biggums. Uh, Emerald Knight says, Theory and Josh, would you rather make a TV series or movie or movies for Darth Plagueis? Love you both so much. I kind of think a series would be movies. great, to be honest. I'm you wouldn't like movies? Series. I'm tired of their series crap, man. Because every time they make a series, they do like, let's say, 10 episodes and only two of them actually stuff happens. Everything yeah, that's kind of like fair. This, that's there's a little fair, trickle yeah. method of like, let's keep you mm -hmm. interested for the next week so you keep your subscription. Ugh, yeah, no, yeah, dude, that's fair. That's fair. Give me a movie. Although we got to see that because Ahsoka could be lit. And also season two of Mando's pretty good ride, to be honest. It is. But I mean, how many shows are going to be done like that? They didn't even do season three like that. I know. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Movies would be cool. Tamara Morrison basically confirmed at a fan convention that he will be playing Rex in Ahsoka. This, uh, this is the show to see him in. How cool would it be for some Clone Wars flashbacks to be? Yeah, that would be really fun, man. I just, I don't know if that'll ever come to pass. That would be cool, though. I'd love to see Rex in Ahsoka. Absolutely. Maybe he was going to be Cody in Obi-Wan. They cut it out. Yeah, they. I think they did, but I think they changed the script. I mean, right. you know, yeah. What's up, Terlizis? Love you, Theory, from California. You always bring the best content, and I'm so appreciative about it because all your content is goaded. Question, Jedi, S or F-O? S or F-O? Yeah, uh, Survivor or Survivor? Fallen Order. Oh. Yeah. Um, Which one do you like better? Dude. They're both really different, man. Yeah. I kind of like, and I'm like not very far, but I like the beginning of Fallen Order more. Me too. It was just really wild the way that it all went down. Yeah. Um, I think Survivor is so much more open world and you feel like it's a broader game. I think Fallen Order is so much more focused mm -hmm. on everything at hand. Survivor kind of goes off like, okay, this High Republic dude, and then we go off here, and then Tantalor, and blah, blah, blah. And the Empire now came in for a second, and then uh, there's a lot of shit with Seer, and uh, just different, different feeling. Uh, I still don't know yet which one I like more. They're both different. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Obi-Wan shits on Seer. You with me on this? Love you guys. Yeah, 100%, of course. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Chat, do you think Obi-Wan's more powerful than Seer Junda? Yeah, I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Like, what are we what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Wait, let me turn off. This. God damn it. Let me turn off this one. How come there is only there's 2.5 watching, but only 1.6 likes, I guess? Because oh, people are horrible. Dude, it drives me so insane how people just can't hit the like button. But at the end of the day, it's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know? can't yeah. force them and i and i don't want to be that guy that's like hit like, hit like i hate doing that yeah yeah it sucks it's not my fault that youtube made that such a big priority because it's like yep. if you don't if you don't have high likes then youtube will not push your shit out yeah it's kind of a shame but it is what it is it is what it is uh i Unless can't have him to juice up a boss fight like that but having vader walk away like he just got pegged all night was just playing wrong yeah yeah i i gotta be honest like the <laughs> thing that really did it for me was like the way she's like staring at him and he looks all like he he looks submissive and she looks dominant and like i'm yep. sorry like that's just not okay no. like that's no 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 you don't say that you don't do that so your equals female beetlejuice <clears throat> Do you think Jedi Survivor is as good as we actually think, or are we just so starved of genuine Star Wars content that we love anything that comes out? Both. Yeah, it's. I don't know for sure because I got to play through it more, but it could be. It could be. You could be on yeah. something. I mean, I think Fallen Order was amazing. Mm -hmm. Survivor was just. It was different. I. You know, I think I like. I think I like Fallen Order more. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Ten we'll twenty twelve. I don't know. Did, Did you me? miss my super chat? It was wholesome. Uh. Nah, we saw it. How much you want to bet that shit ain't wholesome at all? I feel nostalgic about a time where these two legends, Josh and Theory, are either too old or too busy with life to do these streams. Thank you, truly. Well, well that is pretty wholesome. I mean, we'll see. That's, that's going to be a long way away. No, see, so what I want to do is I want to make my own stories like Harry Potter. I want to make my own books and comic books. Yeah. So I don't think I'll ever be gone from YouTube. I just like you guys too much. Yeah, I, like I, I feel the same. Know. If anything, maybe I would lessen my output. It's almost like maybe the PewDiePie thing. Like when he moved to Japan, 
like he just doesn't care about views anymore he only makes videos when he wants to but he still likes to update everybody and he loves making videos so he still does it yeah indeed so yeah let's see here which aliens got the largest plahas oh and the deepest sir oh yeah no uh the huts how come there's 2.5k right uh replay fallen order yeah no, no i want to replay survivor now yeah yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. She should be good. Mm -hmm. That she should be real good. I don't think we ever read this one. No, I think we did. I think we did. Hard workers. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I remember this. Pretty, Thanks, yeah, that's very nice. Very nice. Thank you, thank, you, thank you. Big tenor from Tiger Boy 19. Hi, Theory. I love your work on Star Wars and your fan film. Have you finished your system or lightsaber giveaways yet? I've uh, been working 50 to 60 hour weeks, so I haven't been able, I haven't been on YouTube much, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we gave away, f was it four, three or four consoles. Nice. Yeah, four consoles, and then uh, three or four deluxe copies of the game, as well as like some other random stuff. Like one guy took his sister and brother to see Return of the Jedi. I paid oh, for their, wow. their like popcorn or whatever, just little things. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'd like to do I'd like to do more console giveaways. But um yeah, we'll see. Definitely huh. we'll do some more um giveaways of the game. It's pretty fun, man. Pretty fun stuff. Parts of Coruscant Maps and Survivor ripped from 1313. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I believe it. Jesus. Why? Does Vader have a metal eggplant? I don't know, man. Yeah, he probably does, yeah. Probably. Pops installed the lightsaber eggplant replacement for Vader. <laughs> uh, which oh Star Wars character God. do you think booty twerks? To be okay, we're at that point in the stream, three hours in. I think it's Lizzo. Yeah, okay. All right, well, we had fun, guys. No, Are there any more important questions? <laughs> <laughs> like actual questions? Yeah. Any more actual questions there? Besides... uh. He's besides <laughs> like, does Vader have pee pee? Who twerked good Star Wars? It's like, Jesus Christ. Theory, why was Bode so powerful? No one sensed him. Loved last night's stream. Yeah, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. Does Cal train the girl now? Probably. It's kind of like a Thor Love and Thunder thing. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> these, they're just ridiculous. Uh, like Seer said, the entire time she trained for Vader, plus Vader arrogance is what keeps him losing uh, fights he never learns no jen jorman a we're like jen jorman l bro because that take <laughs> sucks oh man like Sears said this entire time she trained for vader vader's arrogance is what keeps losing him fights he never learns i don't believe that yo arthur send me what you sent uh on discord and i'll just read it he says he sent two supers. It would have popped up. Yeah. So, Arthur, you are mistaken, my worthy apprentice. Dude, you want to hear something mildly embarrassing? Yeah. I am not 100% on this, but I believe I pulled a muscle in my abdomen trying to do the vacuum pose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rich Piano dude no i'm serious like like it fucking hurts bro like i was doing it i was doing it like yesterday in the mirror and uh this morning i'm like oh like that shit kind of hurts and then like after my stream this morning i was like damn like yeah, that shit like that. really hurts so yeah. yeah so i'm gonna take a little break from doing <laughs> that shit dude my god you're gonna see him like <laughs> Yeah, dude. I was like, I can do it. Oh, dude, this is gonna be great. And then I'm like, oh, fucking pain. <laughs> Lisa's like watching from the bedroom. She's <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Why are you crying all of a sudden? <laughs> like, this shit hurt, bro. Real I feel like these bad. Star Wars games are so predictable. Would love if Cal found another Jedi, started training them, then got capped by either his Padawan or the Empire. What do you guys think? Be kind of cool. No, I don't want him to get capped. There's a there's a scene in the game which is really cool you're gonna like mm, okay, I won't spoil okay. It. yeah i mean i like cal but i I'm, I'm not necessarily against doing something real crazy you know yeah why not make it fresh make it fresh make it fresh 
Endoscopic says the force is trans. Who would win, Darth Nihilus or Abeloth? Dude, Abeloth for sure. Although uh, Nihilus is very strong, but I feel like Abeloth would take it. Abeloth. Is... Do you think Bode is stronger than Seer? No, dude. Mm, I mean, you shouldn't, shouldn't Seer be. just beat Vader, bro. And all you guys that think it's whack, you're friggin' sexist. Next game will be focused on Kata and Cal will die. Ah. Well, he beat her, but she left him pretty mangled. Ah, yeah. And apparently yeah, it's right after the Obi Wan duel. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> Interesting. Really? So maybe he's like still a little sad. Not recovered. I love, I love it. And someone said like, she's been training for Vader, bro. How many th people do you think were training for Vader and still got absolutely melted? Yeah, they, like, they should just get whacked, bro. One like, does there's... not simply just train for Vader. No, and no, you don't. Successful. And even if you do, you 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 lose, man. Like that's <laughs> just what it is. Like Vader's the equalizer, bro. Yeah, ex literally. <sighs> yeah. How good okay, is your good. first pullout game? Well, uh, not that great to be honest. <laughs> not that great for Josh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> gonna be honest. Not that great. It's about as good as my vacuum pose. <laughs> this is where the fun begins. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Damn. There's always a bigger fish. Damn. Anyways. Anyway. Are you are your sabers battleproof and bright as the first? Four? Yes, the bright is the first ones. They're better. Uh, we actually got the a big update yesterday because the uh, the 3D printed parts came in. So now we can actually go and make the molds. Uh, nice. That's cool. Yeah, we paid for 100 of them. So nice. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. I'm excited to see the design. Oh, dude, it's it. I've never seen a saber like this before. It's going to be nice. Ridiculous. It's going to be really cool. Nice. Very yeah. cool display case and everything um opinion on the morality danger of using mind trick yeah there's a morality factor there but at the end of the day you know kind of like what did what about qui-gon's morality factor of using you know the force on the chance cube which was yeah. rigged anyways but I, I still think it's a better move than like you know killing motherfuckers so uh, yeah yeah it's like you know probably not yeah. the most ethical thing but take your pick take your pick yeah yeah Make your stormtrooper cannon. Brady Wells. Brady, Up back at it again. Years. Let's go. Uh, Michael says, will the new bill that got passed in Canada affect Vader episode two? Forgive my ignorance. Much love, fellas. Eh. I don't think so, right? I Shouldn't. No, I'm going to move to the States anyway, so. Yeah. Okay. yeah get, get over here. Get over here in America. Yeah. Yeah. Isaac, what's up, brother? Says, hey, boys. What's up, Isaac? Doing well, man. Uh, will Cal be in the Ahsoka show? Uh, kind of doubt so. it. Kind of doubt it, but it would be cool. It would be cool. Yeah. Just got off your stream. How you guys doing? Dude, we're doing good, Amos. Doing How's good, your man. shift? Just read the Fat Mace comic calorie cutter. <laughs> In it, he was not consumed by the dark side and consumed it. He also mastered <laughs> lightsaber form eight. Nice. <laughs> Dude's getting the second nice. theory saber, new collector. Def's getting the... Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. I hope you enjoy it, man. It'll be a, uh, it'll be a little pricier than the first one, but it's gonna be so much, so much nicer. I mean, I like the first one, but this one's like very different, unique. Oh, so Arthur said first playthrough of Jedi Survivor Grandmaster difficulty tonight, going forty eight hours straight. My God! Also watching episodes one to five on four right now. Watching Jedi fortieth on the fourth. That's pretty sick, bro. He's not going forty eight hours straight. That's wild. He's not going forty eight hours straight. There's no way. Yeah, I mean, that would if be you, pretty if wild. You, if you do stream that, but I, don't do that. That's not good for your health. No, you should take a little Read, nap ski. Yeah. yeah. There was a gamer who actually died because he was sitting for so long and then got up to go pee and got a blood clot. What? Yeah. Yeah, did you hear that, Arthur? Yeah. So maybe not do that shit. This was years yeah. ago. That's so you should have got a cut scene instead of a full boss fight for five to ten strikes and then get choked, crushed. Yep. I agree. Yep, agreed. Rick, the door technician, versus Seer, who wins? Rick, man. Yep, absolutely. gotta protect that door. Any update on Nerd Theory OnlyFans? We're trying to figure out the logistics. The Canada yeah. thing is tough, you know. Yeah, you know the bill C eleven price split and everything, you know. Yep. 
I think it's possible Qui-Gon might have killed or might have had a kid. He's my favorite Jedi, but I feel like he was always a non-believer in their strict rules. That would be interesting, actually. That could be kind of crazy. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Vader's metal rod squeezed space oil when he forced... Jesus, bro. <laughs> He's <laughs> motherfucker. Dude. Sup, guys. Holy shit. Theory loved the Jedi Survivor run last night. <laughs> that Vader fight, though. Which was worse, Tyler? The Vader fight or the Seer fight? Uh, the Vader fight or the Bode fight? I don't know. It's tough, bro. Tough. Hey, guys, from Beth and Emma in Ireland. We're visiting children at our local hospital on May the 4th in cosplay. That's oh, awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, that's tag awesome. us in some photos. That sounds great. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. What's up, Julie Lancaster? Julie, it's welcome. Welcome, youngling. Chat nineteen one thousand nine. Who's gonna be the Who's gonna be the two thousand? Who's gonna be the two thousand like? Yeah, who like? Who? Who was it? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Nope. I gotta say the Vader fight for sure, really. Damn. I don't know. That's why I'm gonna do that shit off stream because I'm gonna take a while. For no, sure. do it do it on stream, man. <sighs> I'll get too frustrated, man. I mean I'll get frustrated. Yep. <laughs> yeah. How does Seer using the force for the last five years not make sense, but Obi Wan using the force for five days makes sense? Nostalgia? No, bro. That's because it's Obi Wan. It's because it's Obi Goddamn One fucking could no man. Also, you got to keep in mind, Vader is so conflicted when he's fighting Obi Wan. Yeah, compared to when he he's fighting Seer Junda. Shit. Yeah, Seer Junda. <laughs> he'd be like, "You look like a crackhead outside of Seven Eleven," and they just cut her down. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. Anyway, once again, you've proved if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Hell. And they're going to clip it and be like, Theory is so toxic. I can't believe you'd say that. Like, what the? Dude, I know. Getting a little of Obi Wan over Driver and how they mentioned the hidden path stuff in the Obi Wan series. That would be interesting. If that, though. they tied that together, would be cool. My lord. Skeleton crew thoughts? I mean, dude, we'll see. Could be cool. We know nothing about it, man. You know? Just give me Knights of Ren show with Adam Driver, please. Or 500 years fun. after Rise with some punky boy in a futuristic cyberpunk Star Wars, kind of like Ezra. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That'd be cool. I'd give me, give me both of them. But then, like, if they yeah. make the Knights of Ren really cool, I mean, they dude, made them in the comics. Mad when yeah, people would be like, movie, "Well, why yeah. didn't we see this?" Dude, I love those Michael Bay shots in Rise, and then they do fucking nothing, dude. Like nothing. But at least they look cool, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Watching Theory Survivor streams while I play to prove it. I will tag you both. Uh, every hour on Twitter to show you how far I get. May the force be with you. All right, brother. Just don't well, die. Yeah, I mean, take care of your health, man. Yeah, I don't. I don't shit, yeah, man. maybe just do it over the course of like what I did. Even wasn't healthy. Yeah, watch you play Survivor last two nights. Someone should edit all the clips of you frustrated between the Vader and Bode. Oh, it's being done right now. I got, I got nice. my uh, my new clip editor. His that's name's Toxic. Yeah, and he's uh, he's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's his handle, Toxic. Y'all see Unicorn in New Transformers trailer? No. Unicorn. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the new, like, Beast Wars. Oh, cool. Whatever shit. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know, bro. I've heard the movies do do. Hmm. Unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. That's not good. Yep. <clears throat> I heard Trudeau only passed C11 because <laughs> he's trying to promote Luke Soka. Not a fan of Overreach, but I think it's probably worth it in the long run. In the long run, you're probably right. Yeah. Probably. Who knows, man? Who knows? Yeah. Wait, why, why is Elisa saying I miss you? I'm sorry, Gracie Abrams. I don't know. 
or she said Dr. John, I miss you. Who's Dr. John, Josh? Who's Dr. John? Uh, I don't know. About to be a Who's victim. Dr. John. Dr. John, you motherfucker. Can't find him. There he is. Hey, Theory. Any song recommendations for a man who's heartbroken? Oh. Oh, too bad, John. Too bad. Uh, song recommendations? I mean, oh, it's depends. A freaking song. Depends. Oh, anyway. Um what direction you're going like if you want to sit there and like cry in your, <laughs> in, your, in your sorrows i mean i want to know what love is by uh scorpion scorpions be good Good. yeah um i want to know what love is yeah it's pretty good or or or, or send me I an angel it was white snake was it white snake no i, I think it was for, um send me an angel it's a good one um um there's one by oh sh there's there's hold on uh there's one by Kane Brown it was a country one it was actually good was it Kane Brown oh, are you talking about some very sad songs no I'm t no this one's now like on the up like it's like it's like ah screw mm. that oh okay there's there's a Waller week Waller Walker Jr. song which is actually funny what about uh she fucking hates me by puddle of mud that one's pretty good. Uh, I don't know, but there's also oh god, who was that band? I used to listen to them all the time. She fucker hates me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why am I forgetting the? Oh, dude, it's gonna bug me now. They're like a rock. I used to listen to them all the time, man. Lincoln Park. No, 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 no. Um. Theory of a dead man. Theory of a Dead Man? Okay. Theory of a Dead Man. I remember them. They were great. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever heard of them, to be honest. Really? Anybody in chat heard Theory of a Dead Man? Dude, I used to listen to their stuff all the time in my teens and early 20s. <clears throat> um, there's one called Bad Girlfriend. There's one called The B Word Came Back. Uh, mm -hmm. Hate My Life is... <laughs> That's one right there. Um, yep. Their 2008 Scars and Souvenirs album is really good. Uh, so Happy. Probably So Happy is a good one. It's a good one you might like. Um, All or Nothing. Eh, no, not no, that one's more like a love song. Uh, yeah. Your Love is a Lie. Yeah, by Simple Plan. That's a good one. Your Love is a Lie. Oh, I forgot about it. It's been too long. It's been too long since I've been cheated on. <laughs> <laughs> When you're like a teenager in the early 2000s, you love it. Why? Yeah, Why? I'm trying to think of some of those songs to my myself. Ah. You know, for me, a lot of Lincoln Park really helped with. Uh, yeah, Park. yeah. I want to say the best cure, honestly, the best cure for a breakup and for being heartbroken is getting into the gym and working through it there. You know. Like just jamming some awesome music and just being, you know what? I'm gonna get so jacked mm -hmm. that she's gonna know she fucked up. You know what I mean? Which is, you know, crazy, honestly. But fuck it, man. It'll get you jacked. Get that yeah. rage. Also, um, becoming successful. Really? Yes. Helps. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was Sinatra said that like uh success is the best revenge or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I I guess. Yeah. It would be yep. Exactly. Yeah, success is the best form of revenge, or something like that. Yeah, something. Was it him who said that? I'm pretty sure. Cool. Yeah. Um. Okay. Not answering that one. Who decides when a Jedi becomes a master? The Council. Yeah. The Council that made the knights seem like such a big deal. Yeah. He did. Yeah, he did. If you plan to move to the state, South Carolina or New Hampshire are much safer places, in my opinion, than Maui or than Hawaii. I don't know about that. Hmm. Aiden attended two events with Trudeau. Do you think he supports him or he just did it to be polite? He said in 2018 interview, he stays out of politics. I don't know. I can't answer for him, man. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Uh, balls by my. What? I don't know. All right. Malgus versus Vader. Close fight or blowout. Um, I think it would be close. Yeah. Malgus is pretty strong. Any chance, Any chance you think. Ron uses Sabine's Mandalorian killing disintegration weapon from Rebels to kill Gideon and Mandos. 
No. You inspire me so much. Love you. We love you too, Boba's Vet. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's a cool vet. idea, but Boba's oh, Vet. I... That's a cool vet. Can you remind me what is this weapon? The it's oh, in uh it's like the one Rebels. that it's the electricity bomb thing that goes through their armor. It like just it goes through Beskar. She made it for the Empire and they used it on the Mandalorians to subdue them, which is part of the reason why she has such shame and she leaves Mandalore. And then they are building it again, and it's in that arc where they go into the ship and then they trick it and make it so that it attacks the stormtroopers and the, the armor that they have. Can't remember. Yeah, it's like towards the end of the show. I gotta rewatch the show. Yeah. You think Disney will ignore the comics and do their own story for Dawn of the Jedi? Yep. Yeah, they will for sure. Iris by Goo Goo Dolls. That's a good one. Theory of Dead Man, one of my favorite bands. First heard of them in a PS2 game called Indigo Child, the song. Wow. And it was Santa Monica. Oh, I remember that one. Oh, that's them? I love that song, Santa Monica. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't say that, dude. Well, Anyways, uh, this by Steel Panther is a good one, too. Uh, did you know... <laughs> There's certain, you know, uh, Vaughn, there's certain things I can say online and things I can't, especially with Bill C-11, so I'm not going to read that. Yeah. I don't even know what it was. I must have missed it. Yeah. I must have missed it. Mm -hmm. Well, we love you guys. We're going to catch you in a little bit. We'll see you next week for the next Nerd Theory. Uh, we had fun tonight. Yeah. And... Um... I wanted to run this by you guys. What do you think if Josh and I one day create a channel where we cover all pop culture, like all everything, and we just do like a podcast once a week and just shoot the shit and have fun, talk about all different movies and topics and stuff like that? Yeah, it'd be like nerd theory, but more general, I guess, like talking about just like Marvel, DC, um, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you miss my nine ninety nine? says Nightfall. Um, I don't know. I'm looking right now. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it, man. <laughs> Who's your favorite South Park character? Mm, oh, Kenny. I'd say Stan. Stan? I haven't yeah. watched South Park enough, but I like Kenny. Yeah, Stan is so funny, bro. Like they just do they do a lot of wild shit with him in the later seasons. It's pretty cool. Mariana says trying to start a podcast myself. Any advice? Uh Josh, you got any advice? I mean, I would just say it's a skill like anything else, so you'll develop over time. Listen to your stuff back. Um, make it about something you're really passionate about so that you keep, uh, you know, you keep on it when it gets hard. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I would say. Yeah, just have fun with it and be yourself. Yeah, nobody likes, you can always tell when someone is faking their opinion or tailoring their opinion or just being a shill and yep. uh, no one likes that, right? So it's just not authentic. Yep, I agree. Yeah. Keep so. it real. You got to keep yeah. it real. Gasta. Yee. You gasta. All right. Well, we love you guys. We'll catch you in a little bit. Um, I'll, I might do a fall. I might do a survivor stream tonight. I'm not sure yet, but I might just refresh and come back for tomorrow. I want to get back on videos and stuff for you guys. So um, survivors have been taking a lot of my time. Anyways, make sure you follow us both on Twitter at the Den of Nerds and Real SW Theory. Uh, Josh's channel is the Den of Nerds. And then mine is, of course, here. And uh, Nightfall Norris as well. It was about my relapse after being sober for four months from alcohol. Now I don't want to be here. My support team isn't there for me anymore. That's terrible. Um, but to be honest with you, I still think you got to fight through it. And you yeah. just got to start day one the next yeah. day. And uh, relapses happen, man. You know, a lot of people that deal with that. Yeah. So you've just got to get back on the horse and you're here. You know, so whatever the relapse was, it wasn't bad enough to have the worst case scenario. So you still got a chance. You got to keep yeah, fighting. 
yeah you got to look at this like a sort of uh like a like a character development if you're watching a movie and the character is you and you know now this is like the second movie or whatever the second stage dude relapses loses his support team it's much more difficult on him now he's solo and alone how is he going to make it through this journey and come out yeah. on top and, and that is life's test for you right now and uh, you need to really succeed at that and just buckle up because sure it'll get tough but um yeah. you can do it nothing yep. nothing good was ever given to someone easy agreed you can do it, man we, we love you we, we are your support group too. chat if you can riddle the chat with some hearts for nightfall noir um i'd appreciate it sabine wren's weapons were called the duchess really i don't know if that's true i don't know i don't remember that i don't remember what their names were though yeah, Lobot says he can do it, dude, from another recovering dude. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are um, uh, recovering addicts of anything. And um, yeah, a lot of them tell us their success, their success stories. Uh, Jordan's one of them. He was in la la the stream last night. He's His whole life turned around, and he's looking to propose to his girl now. He's got an apprentice job. He's doing great. So yeah, life's like a game, right? You just choose different paths, and... If you fall off path, you just get back on the other path. You know, it's it just takes time. That's really all it is. Mm -hmm. Everyone have fallen off. All of us have fallen off, yep. and may fall off. It's, but it's about it's about getting back up. It's not about how hard life hits you. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How hard you can get. Yeah. Yep. Just like that. Yeah. Hey, Tiger Boy says, "Nightfall Noir, you got this." Sends prayers. Yeah. Thank you guys. Prayer. Love y'all. We love you too, Nightfall. Do the podcast golden age of tv lots to talk on yeah that's yeah, true it'd be fun lots yeah. to talk we can even throw some dragon ball in there when it comes back if it comes back i wouldn't holy it? shit uh i don't know we've just been waiting for this goddamn show show forever bro yeah. you know it's been like six years since super was on the air i know that's wild God bless you, Nightfall. Consider this. What would life be if everything was easy and bliss? You matter, my friend, and may the force be with you. Very Hell true. Yeah. Very Hell wise words. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, last millennial. Yeah. Apparently, Ray's pregnant, says Justin Jones. We're going to end on that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. That's why I'm here. We love you guys. We'll catch you in a little bit. And uh, stay tuned for the streams on the channel coming uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow. And we're going to continue the Survivor Games. Love you all. We'll see you later. And you're sounding like a separatist.